Button's not working. Hello, everyone. Vasif here. Welcome to a uh, Thursday stream. We're going to be playing some more. Okay, I remember the direction again. Divinity Original Sin. Um, this is the enhanced edition, I believe it's called. Um, I don't remember where we left up. Oh, yeah, we came back from the the time zone area thing. Cool. And uh, we're going to be probably talking to Arhu, I think, at some point. And we got to talk to some sort of counselor. Or Chancellor. Hey, oh, yeah. Sarah, what's going on? Yeah. Welcome to the stream. Want some cookies? I thank you for the cookies. Yum. Get them. I forgot to turn on the light again. Oh, no. I forgot to turn on your light. Doggies. How you doing, Sarah? What's new? What's crazy? What's exciting with you? No, no. She's the leader. Um, I suppose I should probably observe the rest of the the map that i kind of missed so <gasps> fish rack give me that fish oh door Ooh, a chest <gasps> there's a there's a person in the bathtub oh wait didn't i get some sort of um I got one of those pyramids, right? Who did you give it to? Aha! I found it. Um. Use. Oh, my oh God. shit! What is going on here? First, I have to shoo away a creeping white tomcat, and now there's a perfect stranger in my bathroom. Get out, will you? <laughs> We're gonna ignore that. We're not gonna do that. I'm gonna boop this newts. Boop this newts. Boop boop. Got the boops. Got the boops. Hey, hi. How are you? You being squishy, adorable, Jade. Nothing exciting. Just hanging out. That can be okay. I'm gonna send this to Scarlet, so I don't fuck that up again. Did I level up? I don't think I did. I was waiting for some level up. I just don't remember what it was. Also, it didn't save that I removed this from my bar. That's interesting. Okay, so avoid that house. Get in trouble by walking into... Why does she have a door directly to the bathroom? That is weird. Cheese? Oh, hell yeah. Let's go get some cheese. Can't see Mendius. You there. Hi. A, a moment of your indulgence, if you please. Sure. You are the source hunter, are you not? The hero the whole of Sycele is That's buzz me. about. The talk of the town. The juiciest grape on the grapevine. Such a pleasure to meet you. Are you a, a wino? Delight. No, scratch that. It is so much more than a delight. It is an intervention of fate. Yes, that's it. Fate has put me on this very spot, so I may tell you all about a most intriguing opportunity indeed. Who are you? Mendius, at your service. What is my profession? Well, I'll tell you what it used to be. Ooh, there's a night person in the background. A man of she looks cool. But what does a man of medicine do but mend what has first been broken? I saved lives, to be sure, but today I change them. You're not undead about the word, <laughs> or worried about the undead? undead a problem, my friend. But those who know the ways of the fabulous five see no problems. Fabulous they five. They see opportunities. An enterprising spirit can wrench riches from cold dead rocks. Or from cold dead, full stop. 
All right. Oh, it's What's this not opportunity? Really an opportunity. It is a what are you trying to sell me on? Chance Chump? to become better, to become the full extent of the promise that is locked inside of each and every one of us. So this guy first just gabbing. Of all, let me ask you this question. Do you like adventure? Of course. Some could not because they are professionals, not adventuring daydreams. Oh, shut up, Roderick. I'm still mad at you for accepting killing the orc. Clearly, two strong personalities stand before me. Two who voice their opinions with vigor when they differ. What else could I expect from mighty source hunters? Hmm, too bad your line of work comes with such measly recompense. Am I right? The wage of a mere soldier. Now, between you and me, tell me truthfully, don't you sometimes wish you could earn more? I wish you would shut up. Dang, you talk a lot. Riches don't interest me, actually. Nor me. Wealth is but vanity. Oh, but I know you're just being bashful. I bet that in your heart of hearts, your eyes water with joy when you discover yet another treasure during your travel. In all games, I do that. All the shinies. Even so, my friend, matters of a pecuniary nature aside, what is life without pecuniary. variety? Pecuniary. Without spice. To be a source hunter must get frightfully dreary sometimes. You're frightfully dreary, my, right? my dude. All those orders. Investigate this, retrieve that. And at the end of the day, is my webcam a funky color right now? Wouldn't you prefer to call your kind of looks funky? Shots? Be your own boss. It's better lead than follow. That's much as true. There's no shame in following directions if your master are worthy of your trust. That's true. True enough. We serve a just cause, so why wouldn't we follow our orders? Come I want to talk to her. She's got a cool sword. I refuse to believe such a you. Uniquely skilled individual would settle for a puppet's role. Life's too Watch short your puppet to spend mouth. doing someone else's bidding. Am I right? Of course I am. And I could help you attain the dream. Enact the change you deserve. And Mama. that is exactly why I am here. Why fate has put me right by the door to the king crab. So oh, this I is where we needed to go. You and tell you about the marvel that is the fabulous five. The invitation to join is yours. Grab it. What about it? Oh, the fabulous five. How I enjoy simply saying the words that describe the most illustrious and celebrated adventurers guild in Rivalon. Our mission, to better the world. Our mantra, to better ourselves as we do so. To realize our dreams and cleanse our souls. Mama, you suck at making You'd bed. You'd like nothing more than to enlist, wouldn't you? Of course you would. And you can. Of course, if you still have questions, I shall answer them to the best of my abilities. But if not, how about we get started? What did they actually do? What a gem of a question. Straight as an arrow. Shut, Shut up, my bird. God! You are Most seriously meritorious, obvious. obviously a salesman. Now then, to join the Fabulous Five is to join a fellowship, to join a fraternity, a sorority, a community. The title Not a fan of, of any of those. Is bestowed upon you the moment you I sign up. a knight. And so See the dude behind begins. me. I shall be the one to give you your first contracts. And once the job is done, I shall see to it you get your fair share of the reward. Why not hire the three dudes on the docks? Of course. Should you spread the word, should you propagate the gospel of the fabulous five and thereby draw new knights into our fellowship, this is a you pyramid will scheme. get a share of the reward from their contracts too. Yep, pyramid scheme. Isn't that wonderful? By now, the genial glow of the fellowship must have warmed your heart. Not your friendship. It has, hasn't it? Fellowship, but, but whatever. I say fellowship? I mean family. For like a family, we support one another, cheer one another, see each other through thick and thin. Can I have, like, Scarlet just... Glory and defeat. Pass out on him? Whoa! 
work hard. Fulfill contracts. Enlist new knights, and swiftly shall you rise through the ranks. You will better yourself. You will better Rivalon. You will make the stars shine all the brighter. And you'll get fabulously wealthy in the process. What's not to like? Mm, change the subject. Peace out. Weirdo. Oh man, I have so much to do. Quest marker. Oh, location. Oh, there's Esmeralda. Oh, there's the captain. All right, maybe we'll just go into the crab inn real quick. Hello, I'm here. Hello, tell me a secret. What? Well, what's this? Oh, Madara, you lummox. A thousand pardons, comrade. This old bear is edgier than a dodecahedron these days. Cool. I like I'll you. Tell you. It sure does me she good like to Ash. set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West, aren't you? Give Captain more truce my regards next time you see him. I hadn't heard of the source hunter being assigned to Sysiel. What are you doing here? Heavens, hornets. That's quite a story, comrade. And come to think of it, one that might concern you. See, I'm here on, well, let's call it a loan from a town to the north of here. Hunter's Edge by name. There's been an attack there, comrade. Orcs. Not your run-of-the-mill savages either. The ones who've taken dark magic to new heights. Uh oh What they want in Hunter's Edge, I can't say. But it's my responsibility to send them packing. Preferably with their haunts and their suitcases and a knee-knocking fear of ever crossing paths with a sauce hunter again. I came south seeking the Legion's help, only to find it tied here in Sicil. They don't have a spare soldier to send northward, and even in my finest form, I can't clear the place of that many orcs without backup. How did you manage to escape? By the skin of my teeth, comrade. The savages were rounding up villagers when one of them activated a tripwire on our village wizard's property. Fortunately for me, that particular wizard has a penchant for things that go boom in the night. <laughs> I managed to wrench free of my captor's grip and flee toward the forest. He pursued me for miles, but I'd lost him before I made it into the Sicil hinterlands. What's your next plan of attack? Well, comrade. I hadn't thought of it till you tapped my shoulder just now. But perhaps that's where you come in. I need a contingent I can trust if I'm to take back the town. And the way I see it, you could use reinforcements here in town. I've been scouting Sicil for some time now, and I believe I've sussed out sufficient intel to help solve the murder of the council. Ooh. With our minds and swords in tandem, we'll make short work of the perpetrator. You say you were? I don't recognize you from the academy. I trained up in Academy North, after all. We don't cross paths with you Westies all that often, but it's always a pleasure when we do. Madora is the name. Madora. Retired, or so the order keeps trying to tell me, mm. but never out of commission. My hand to your cause and my sword at your side. Uh, your proposition, you help us here in Sicil and we help you take back your home village afterwards? Well, you know the old expression. Two's a tea party, three's an invasion. I know this place like the back of my hand by now. And the orcs up north will be short work for a trained up trio of sauce hunters. Hmm. more swollen than saffrons, I dare say. Fantastic plan. Getting ourselves caught up in an entangling up, alliance will hinder more than help us. By the demon's tomb, I never thought I'd live to see a sauce hunter dismiss an eager comrade. That's what they teach you about loyalty at Academy West, is it? Zing! Well, you're lucky we Northies have a certain expression. Better to do right the second time than never at all. So if you change your mind about joining forces, I'll be happy to hear it, comrade. I'm okay. Roderick's just I'll a dick. Tell you. It sure does me good to set eyes on another of our order. From Academy West. Oh, I don't need any of that stuff. Hunter's greetings. So, have you changed your mind about venturing forth, shield to shield against the sauce menace? Oh, tell me the evidence you found about Sicil. More than I'd hoped, comrade. 
I don't know what in tarnation's gotten into the townsfolk here, but there's enough dark magic running roughshod to topple a small mountain. There's Mayor Cecil's doings for one, and the mysteries of our master Thaleron for another. Yeah, he weird. And on top of it all, the feline menace is lurking at every hearth and shadow. Feline menace? Are you talking about Arhu? You mean you don't already know, comrade? Their kind can see in the dark. It ain't natural. Oh, jeez. Tell me about Therian. Fella seems like a humble doctor, but I bet my sword he's dealing in something darker and splints and tonics. I kind of agree. He's weird. A loose-lipped fishmonger let slip that she'd seen our good doctor scale the city wall on two separate occasions. Well past midnight each time. What business could he have among the undead? Mm-hmm, indeed. Hardly the habit of an innocent healer, I'd say. All right, tell me about the mayor. Now, don't get me wrong. I think the mayor's a decent sort, even if he can't hear farther than the tip of his own nose. But from what I've heard whispered around the docks, the old guy's gotten himself mixed up in something not quite on this side of the law. I suspect an illegal sauce artifact or substance is at the root of it, but exactly what or who's given it to him, I can't say. And since I haven't technically been assigned to Sicil, I don't have the authority to interrogate him. Don't you worry, we'll do it. That's a cat! <laughs> Unsinkable Sam. I've the king crab before. You're welcome to scratch me behind the ears if you like. I won't scratch back. Who are you? I am Unsinkable Sam. At least that's what they call me around here. He used to be a ship's cat, but the clipper I was on sank when I was the only one to wrestle himself free from the waves. The people here were kind and took me in. Been the king crab's foremost patron ever since. You were the only survivor? So I was. What friends I had. They drowned alongside the rats I used to hunt in the galley. And there I was, all alone. Not that I have it bad here, mind you. I've milk and fish aplenty. Most folks will pet me kindly, and when one of the village girls holds me tight against her ample bosom, I purr up a storm. But I do long for a companion of my own kind. It is already and in out. In that regard, there is no one like Maxine. Who's Maxine? I am a Everything started talking at once. Tell me about the ship. A magnificent ship she was. Used to belong to a pirate. That would be Jada barking in the background. Unlike me, she didn't prove to be unsinkable, though. We hit the cliffs right neath the lighthouse. Not very apt a name for that building, I must say, for no light was shining from it. The moment I hit the water, I writhed around like I would on a hot tin roof. By some miracle, I managed to reach the beach, covered in kelp and smelling worse than a fish's funeral parlor. <laughs> but I was alive. And that was more than anybody else could say. Who's Maxine? Maxine. The mayor's darling pet. So gentle. So fair a feline. Another cat. The grace of her whiskers. The subtle palette of dyes in her sable coat. She's one of a kind, that cat. She likes me. I know she does. But when I declare my love, she backs away. I don't know why I have serenaded her and braved many a bucket of water for my efforts. But for some reason, she is not to be swayed. That's some other By questions for means. you. Tell me about the orcs. Oh, don't mention orcs to me. Worse than dogs, that lot. Sank Walrus Willie's boat right from under him. Best anchovy fisher in the world he was. A loss to us all. What do you think about the old undead? People make a fuss about them because they endanger the lands around the city. <laughs> they never bother me when I'm out for my monthly walk, though. But still, I do detest them. I mean, they're so unnatural, aren't they? Cats can have nine lives, but humans are only entitled to one. Hi, Sam. Who are you? Ah. Hello. Duke of I Feral. suppose you're here to viciously interrogate me for information I don't have, like our noble Captain Aureus before you. Feral has sneaked off to mm, I don't care. Tell, Tell me about yourself. I am the Duke of Feral, though I suppose my name is in the mouths of enough ruthless gossipers that you've heard of me by now. Nope. Never have. 
What do you know about Jake's murder? It's very tragic news. I won't posture and say that the counselor and I were anything near allies, but I truly never wish the man harm. All right. Bye. Oh, my good man. Ooh. Anna. Uh, what Hi. are we here? A source hunter, is it? That's me. Well, my day just became rather more stimulating. Oh, stand still then, if you don't mind. I want to take a good Roderick just staring at that column. At the so-called savior of Cycille. Ooh, I wish. <gasps> so you're just hanging around. Uh. They're purple. Ooh, blacksmithing and initiative. Hmm. It's a hundred less. A hat. Sneaky in HP. I'll take a car. Well, this one I might. Nope. That's pretty sweet. 315. I'm so stinking poor. Oh, my good man. Drink if you please. I'm too poor. Please do keep shouting. Tall as an elf, strong as an orc. But your face, quite classical, isn't it? Statuesque, some might say. Yes, smooth and sturdy as marble, yet fine as a chisel's edge. And my word, Are you coming on to me? What passion burns from your eyes. Please forgive my being forward, but I... I dare say, can it be? You're... Well, you're exactly the person I've been searching for. You've been searching for someone? That I have. For nearly a lifetime, it seems. Well, I'm sure you must know what I mean. Like existence itself lacked a significant component. Like... If you could only fill a certain void, could connect with the right body, the right spirit. Together you could uncover new and thrilling vistas. Are you an alien? I believe I have found that component, that body, that spirit within you, Source Hunter. Come, if ever we are to be united, we must truly entwine our fates. We must link our causes forevermore. Yes. You must oh, join balls. Fabulous Five right away, as soon as time permits. Together, as a team, Stupid we'll five. explore the boundless realm before us. We'll uncover fate, inch by inch. All right, you gotta tell me about yourself. I am Anna. Jewel she got all excited. That is the Fabulous Five. I've cut a thousand throats and baked a thousand bread rolls, stolen the crown jewels of the Queen of Arata, and with my pockets full, helped her reach enlightenment. Is that euphemism? When the day comes that I die, the gods will evacuate the heavens to make space for my formidable collection of designs. designer slippers. I contain multitudes, you see, and I am utterly replete. Except that, much to my dismay, I had as yet to find the companion to whom my heart so clearly calls. But then, Source Hunter. I'm you sure you've said this to everyone this that walks in. And I. Oh, I am most certain that that companion is you. Yes. I am part of that valiant hero, is that what you call yourself? And ever there must You guys kind of sound like thieves. But you, my match, my soul's twin, may tie our fates together by similarly fighting under the banner of the fabulous five. You must speak with Mendius. He stands right outside this very tavern, and he alone can bring you into our illustrious fold. Then, my equal, friend of my body and mind, may we unite. Bye. Don't you Sorry, be part of him. Run out of sign handkerchiefs. An Alistair keyring, maybe. In any case, make it quick. You're not the only fan who wants some. No, god time. damn it! They're all fabulous five freaks. Not familiar with you. What do you mean, not familiar? You expect me to believe you've never heard of Alistair the Almighty? Why, I'm only the most famous wizard this side of the You don't distance. look like a wizard. Although, it'd be worth checking the other side too, just in case. And don't forget, I'm the most eminent member of the Fabulous Five to boot. 
Surely you already know we've been voted the most influential adventurers guild by Side, side Quest, Quest Monthly. Monthly. <laughs> Three years running. What do you know about the undead? Those nasty beasts are hardly worth my time. Though I suppose I'll step in if none of the recruits manage to prove adept enough to handle a few skeletons. All right, tell me about Fabius Fire. Peaked, I see. I'd suggest you have a chat with Mendius outside. He's in charge of recruitment and other such drudgery. A word of warning, though, we only accept the best and the brightest. By the looks of you, I'm not sure you'll make the cut. You want to fight? Take you on, stupid. Who are you? Waitress. A source hunter. Hi. I'd like to report some dark magic. Only oh. tainted hearts could tip as miserably as this lot. Okay, what do you got? Been at the King Crab nearly 10 years now, personally. Seen every character you can imagine, from bums to wizards, pass through these doors for a pint and a place to rest. What do you know about Jake's murder? the last folks to hear him alive. That awful scream has been ringing in my ears ever since. And with the room where it all happened still under quarantine, we have a constant reminder of exactly what happened. It happened here? Though that's the question, isn't it? What exactly did happen? We all thought it was Esmeralda who checked into that room, and the Duke that followed her in. Oh. I was washing up and nudging the last of the lushes out of the door when a cloaked woman rushed in right past me. I never got a good look at her, damn my eyes. But I figured the way she disappeared that she was visiting one of the lodgers. Lucky for the perpetrators, I was rinsing bottles in the back when the terrible deed took place and saw nothing more. I'm not proud to say I ducked under the counter and damn well stayed there till I heard Ivad fling that door open. Ivad. But I was paralyzed with fright. All right, bye. Ooh, bartender man. Oh, it's Ivad. Ah, uh, too welcome to the King Crab Inn and a pleasure to have you. You look like you could use a round or three, so what'll it be? Have a seat and stay a while. What do you got for sale? Nothing I care oh about. Tell me about the yourself. Ivad. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I've been offering the weary travelers of Sicile drink and rest for nearly two decades now, but the King Crab's older than that by a long shot. All you see before you is the manifestation of my great grandpappy Horatius Dunganess's noble vision. Beer and naps for everyone. <laughs> naps no for everyone. No questions asked. How's business? Well, between you and me, things have been rather slow since the uh, incident. But with spirits high and liquor flowing like it is tonight, it seems a crab may just come out of that pinch. You have any work for sailors? You though you just said it slow. Three hopeless sailors. Truly wish I could help you, but I'm barely keeping afloat as it is. What do you know about Jake's murder? Psst. Mind if we keep our voices down over that sensitive subject? Death and dark magic ain't exactly great for business, you know. Do you suspect Counselor anyone? Jake, that poor man. I knew too much about his affairs, you know. Never figured it my business to say anything, but after all that's happened, I wonder if that weren't a grave mistake. Esmeralda's longest standing lover has the audacity to remain lodged at this very inn, you know. He's called the Duke of Ferrell. A high mm. title for a low man. If you haven't yet asked him about Esmeralda, I'd recommend it. Might have to go do that. Tell me about the night of the murder. That room where it happened. It, it was rented to a certain woman. Though I regret to say I can't say exactly who. This inn isn't in the business of asking many questions, if you know what I mean. She came heavily cloaked, but paid the full sum in advance. I was used to such transactions after many similar concerning a, a certain Esmeralda. Figured this were just more at the same. I saw one other figure go into the room that night. Someone tall, built broad like a man, but shrouded the same as she. Again, standard practice for Mrs. Counselor and her visitors. I was startled awake by a horrendous hubbub shortly after midnight. I jumped up and grabbed me grandpappy's machete, bleary-eyed in a washing fright. By the time I burst into that room, it was horribly silent. There was only Jake on the floor, dead, surrounded by what may as well have been a battlefield. Whoever done it has escaped through the window. But I saw nary a saw when I looked out. You can bet I tailed it to the Legion barracks faster than a jackrabbit after that. Okay, where's, um... You, tell him about Esmeralda. Ah, hello. 
I suppose you're here yeah. to viciously interrogate. Yes, Esmeralda. she and I have a history. That's hardly a secret anymore. I quite doubt it was even a secret from Jake while he lived. As easy as it would be to pin suspicions on Esmeralda or I, I assure you that the affair assure. was never so steamy and sordid as the busybodies around town make it out to be. Shut up, you! Jake and Esmeralda had oh, no geez, great affection mad. for each other. It's okay, I didn't want any of your stuff anyway. She had hers, and there was little passion left between them. Certainly not enough to fuel a murder. All right, bye. Hello. Whatever happened ah, to pointless chatter with strangers does so thrill me. How did you know? Please continue interrupting my drink if you'd be so kind. Hey, jerk! Don't you know I'm the player character? Who are you? How curious of you to show interest in a lonesome stranger at the bar. Let me answer by saying that who I am is hardly any of your business. And anyone with an ounce of tact would have known that already. Ugh, fabulous five. Can I tell you? I suppose I can. And I could. But why would I turn my attention away from this whiskey? When Mendius right outside is simply panting with excitement about the whole affair. Defeated by Alistair the Great. Bye. They say he's privy to ancient and Zimbladorix Zat! Ha! Quite under what? my spell, aren't you? Yes, my infriending charm never fails. Infriending charm. Me? You mean you don't recognize me? Not in the slightest. Well, you must live under a very large, very heavy rock. For I'm the finest wizard in Rivellon. Come now, Alistair. Surely you've met your I'm gonna take that. sword twice. Ha! The closest I've got to my match is when I linger over long while lighting my pipe. Look careful. Never heard of you. Yes, that is strange. Strange indeed. But it's a strange world we live in, isn't it? A strange and magical world, full of wonders and regionis regentum. What? What was supposed to happen? Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> you'll find out indeed. If I'm as good as they say I am. I am. You'll have sprouted a pair of long purple ears in the next hour. Ah, how I do love a tasty aubergine in summertime. Bye, Weirdo. <gasps> oh, hello. What are you doing in here, Francis? Greetings, traveler. Hey. And may the immaculate conduit's myriad blessings comfort and cradle you. Is there Tell spider webs over there? Yet heard the revelation. What is that? You mean you haven't heard? Oh, what fortune that I may share the goddess's salvation with one who has as yet been lost. Steal yourself, friend. For your mortal spirit could be forever transformed from this moment forth. The conduit, our link to the goddess herself, has given us a special gift, and the gift is thus. By following her instructions and becoming initiated into the one way, we can each of us live on for a span greater than the number of stars that twinkle within the goddess's right eye. Uh. I'm going to the one way. Ah. For this hallowed information, you must seek an immaculate chapel. Go north, friend, through the forest and into the town of Silver Glen, where all may be revealed. There, among her followers and friends, dwells the goddess's ecstasy, her one way. All right, you're weird. What about this conduit? She came from on high to we mortals and showed us the path to the goddess. 
where all living souls are naturally inclined. Hey, birds. How's it going? Why didn't your tree things work? Oh, my good man. Didn't disconnect again. Drink, you please. Please do keep That's cool. My bot decided to disconnect in the middle of the stream. Because <laughs> the treats worked earlier when uh, Sarah came in with some cookies. A dig of a cookies. Let me um, reconnect this real quick. That's annoying. Mm -mm. Connect. How are you doing, Birch? What's new? What's crazy? What's exciting for you? I found out how to do line of sight in Fog of War. In Fantasy Grounds. I don't know if you were here when I first said that yesterday. But that's going to be fun. Okay. Now it should work. Kind of buzz. So you're all good. <laughs> How's work? Oh. I can't go back to work, so... Please do keep shouting. And your COVID... You said your COVID test came back negative? Is that what you're saying? I hope that's the case. She showed us that injury and malady need not mark the end of Malady? Life, but that through her methods, we could ascend to greater life in service of the goddess. All right, tell me about your weird self. What's in a name, dear friend? For we all begin equal in the conduit's eyes, and only through Oh, you had to get tested? Did they have to do the nose thing? Yeah, go. Ring. go on the path to the righteous, my friend. Forget not that the conduit has great I'm glad it's plans negative, though. Oof. That is a huge sigh of relief. Whoa, look at all this stuff. I can't steal it. Hey. There's downstairs to Legionnaire. Greetings, Source Hunter. What's up? I don't mean to hinder your investigation, but I can't open this door for anyone who hasn't received Captain Aureus' oh, explicit approval. Drink, you please. Please. All right. Um. Bye. Oh. <clears throat> Rats, we gotta talk to him. Hey, come here. Stop it. Stop it! Let me talk to you. This swill is disgusting. The folks in Hunter's Edge make the best whiskey in Rivalon. <laughs> folks say it was Esmeralda who killed Councillor Jake. But I didn't see her here the night of the murder. Ooh, see? Helpful Ooh, rat. She might have just gotten a new pair of shoes. I want to know. Is anyone in here? Will they know if I'm stealing shit? Ooh. Ooh. Actually, I need that. Sure, I'll take that. I won't steal everything. Sorry. Um. He has that bow. Balls. Can't do it. Oh. Am I supposed to do it that way? Be sneaky. Aha. Fuck. I don't have any. I don't have a key. Bread, dinner, potion, tavern. Ooh, I need. Sneak this is mine. Aha, you see nothing. Popular girls from the Source Academy could see how edgy and dangerous you've become. Shut up, you. Voice in my head. Fuck, what? False. Well, I don't have any fire moves. Ah, look out. I see a trap nearby. 
Wait, wait. Grab that. Grab this. Ha ha! This is what we shall do. Path blocked. Ha ha! Oh shit! Oh shit! Whoa! Oh, well that sucked. Okay, do it again. <laughs> Pick this up. No, he's stuck. Come on. Hey rats, can you tell me about more traps and how to stop this one? Or is that thing just going to keep exploding on me? Well, what's in there? I want to know. Crate. Oh, there's a key. Fuck. It's okay. It doesn't hurt. I promise. Go get it. Uh -huh. Got it. Cool. Let's get out. Let's go. Uh -huh. It's cool. You're poisoned. No big deal. How long are you poisoned for? Yes! Uh, presents! Oh, presents! Alright. Uh, you... Kill yourself. Sweet. Okay, well... We stole a thing. Is there another chest somewhere? Hmm. You know nothing? Painting of a man. Who are you? I swear I saw a lady in red upon the beach, but everyone laughs and says I'll see mermaids next. Okay. Never thought I'd see Sicile in such dire straits. This here is one of the oldest cities in Rivalon. Fuck. All right, I need another key. What about this? Hello. Move along. Shut up. Why do you have a starfish? Who are you? Greetings, greetings. Oh, you are most welcome in my chamber. Well, your jerk face told me to leave. find me up here, but I do so abhor the hustle and bustle of the marketplace. Hey. I'm in motion. That I am. Sorry. I have spent more of my life on the road traveling alongside great caravans than I have in any given place in Rivalon. Got All the of bug. this earth is my home. For a few days or even but a few hours at a time, that is. You wouldn't believe some of the things I have seen. Oh yes, a city besieged by the dead isn't even remotely special to me. All the better that it isn't for you and for me, because outlandish events lead to outlandish wares. All right, let's see those wares. Oh, but let us not discuss. Let us browse and barter. Ooh. <gasps> Ooh. Hmm, I don't think that's worth 500. Ooh, what are these? Bartering. That could be worthwhile. Hmm. I don't have any... Ooh, witchcraft, though. Damage boost. Tailments damage to a summoned creature. Whoa, that's cool. Drain willpower. Do I have that one? The king touch. I don't have that one. Charm a target. Ooh, oh, requires level six. Boo. Vampiric touch. I have that one. Bummer.
Bummer. Nothing. Bye. Let's what do you see. think you're doing? Sorry. I don't know. I was just looking in the room, dude. You're mad at me. Gonna go in this one? What's in here? Potion bottles. Ooh, there's another door. That one's locked. Hmm. You see nothing? Ooh. Ooh! Yeah, it's mine now. I am a sneaky person. Oh, wait, he'll get mad. Can you leave? I'm in the business of stealing your clothes. Go away. Go away, please. Can I get in here? Go away. Shoot. Shut the door behind you. Fine, I got it. Don't worry. No, no, no. Fuck. Damn it, Roderick. Balls. Uh, All right, you. Shut the door. No, fuck. Stop. Uh, I have lock picks, but I can't pick anything for some reason. Probably because I don't have high enough skill. Oh, I want. Mine. Only the popular what did I pick up? See how edgy and A hat. You've become. <laughs> Turn that off. That was awful. Oh, uh, yeah, we're wearing that. It looks the same. Boo. Ignore that uh, I just stole all that stuff. I'm wearing it in front of your face. Who's looking at me? Go away. Aha! Fuck. All right, fine. I want to go in here. There's got to be something special in there. Okay. Um. <gasps> Excuse me, I think I'm done here. I need to go talk to... Atreus or whatever his name is. Come on, you chickens. What are you checking in about? Praise be the Ahu the wizard built those new fangle weapons of his. Sarsil would have long been overrun by undead if it wasn't for them contraptions. Ooh. Sure, I'll buy that. Thanks, friend. Hey, what about you? What are you staring at? Captain Jack. Tell me about yourself. Captain Jack's the name. Though the title may be a little generous at the moment. <laughs> My crew ran off. Aha. We can't find enough hardy souls to help me reload the ship and sail off. What about happened to your crew? Those scallywags are there be silver in the Lakula mines, and they abandon ship like the lily liver turkeys they are. I haven't seen him since the day we docked. Well, I happen to know about some sailors that need work. Poor chaps lost their ship and want some work. Just send them to me. Hell yeah. And tell them there's a bit of coin and a lot of rum coming their way if they don't mind a bit of honest labor. Sick. No better solution to the zombie. I don't think I've ever finished that question. Please partake of the plumpest produce ever produced. You don't got anything for me. Sorry. Mm, I think I've yes. talked to you. Halibut, cheap oh, hello, love. Hi. Nice day for a little stroll around the market, isn't it? I like your name. How about you? Well, what sort of arrows do you want? Freezing? Silver? Poison? Get to the point. I don't think I want any arrows. Quiet day on the market, it Ooh, seems. A blue. Aaron has his many don't care. Look at all those bows. I want some weapons. I had freaking Arhu yesterday, man. 
No, don't, don't. Don't scuttle away before you've tried some of the ocean's finest bounty. How many crab claws would you like? Three? Eleven? Eleven? I'm good, thank you. What about you? You're the sure shunted, aren't you? They say you can talk to animals, but I for one won't be falling for such a I can talk tale. to animals. I'm special. Bye. What about you? Wait. See, oh, hey. No one's around. You wouldn't raise a fuss if I uh, borrowed one of these fish, would you? Wait, wait, you mean you're gonna steal it? Borrow, indeed. I'll sooner meet a cat wizard than see that merchant repaid. Or who is a cat wizard? Come now, I'll be good for it, I swear. I mean, the habit of stealing. I never would have dreamt of resorting to petty theft during better times. But what choice have I got now? If it's steal or starve, I'll choose steal. Tell me about yourself. Oh, my story's tired by now. I was a happy enough, a prosperous enough before these lean times around Sicil began. Still, that doesn't waive a man's need to eat, you know. He legit doesn't have anything. This is gonna be interesting. So what do you think? Should I snag a fish? Can I just give him a fish? The merchant has to eat too, you know, leave the fish alone. Yes, you know what they say about giving a man a fish? This man should learn to stand on his own two feet. <sighs> I suppose you've Wait, got can I point. just give him a fish? Another day, another rumbling belly. Wait, 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 wait. I got a fish man, for you. you Fuck. Know. Damn it. Chicken. Chicken's more important. Get back here. That rooster thinks he's such hot stuff. Posing for Jerome like that. Someone ought to tell him his waddle waggles when he crows, same as the rest. <laughs> his waddle waggles. Freaking mooing. Evelyn's house. I need a person that can open locks. Okay. Uh, haven't been over here. I should go talk to the sailors. Say I found them some work. Sailor men. I've found you some work. Hello. Welcome to the town hall of Sicil. Mayor Cecil is waiting for you inside. Is he now? What is this? Esmeralda. I might go there first. Yeah, let's... Let's go over here first. Chicken! Rogue nuts really ruffle my feathers sneaking around here at all hours of the night. Tell me more. That might be information I could use. Yo. Oh, I thought it was going to be similar. Or better. Is this, uh... Oh, this is different. Oh, what is that? Hello. What have we here? Wait. Esmeralda. Not enough strength. I'm not even doing anything. Aha. <gasps> Apples. Patty cake. really should be sending these to Roderick so we can read them. Send a Scarlet. Send a Scarlet. Still haven't figured those out. Hmm. Blah. 
All right, let's go in here. Hello? Security guard. Leave me be. I have a job to do. All right. Bye. Whoa. Two-handed splitting mall. Eh. Look at all this stuff I can steal. Legion's greeting. Hi. Septimus. I have been informed about your heroics on the beach. Were that I had been there to partake in the battle. But my duties lie here. Sworn as I am to protect Lady Esmeralda from the that, her? that would enforce summary justice yep. on her. Even though she is, until proven guilty, wholly innocent. And you are... I am Septimus, seventh son in a household of nine, legionnaires all. Me and two brothers of mine were assigned to Cecil from day one. Alas, both of them have long since fallen in battle against the dead. But never shall I lose heart. Long as a single legionnaire stands, all of us remain undefeated in the eyes of the gods. Uh, what do you think about Esmeralda? So fair a lady I have seldom seen in all of Rivalon, my friend. And I have traveled more extensively than migratory birds do. She stands accused of murder. But in my mind, her presumed guilt is a fallacy. And indeed, a fabrication. What's she doing back there? She steadfast will I guard her. <laughs> she mocking him? Never will I waver unless absolute proof of her culpability should be brought before me. And I hold no such proof exists. Uh, Turn about Jake's desk. Jake's murder is, in a word, a tragedy. He was well loved in all of Sicil. The Council of Seven couldn't have wished for a better ambassador. That he of all people should have braved the undead siege for so long, only to be felled by foul sorcery, is heartrending. I have some more questions. And what questions are those? Tell me about Sicil. Tragedy Sysil. flocks to this place, like goblins to a boar carcass. None of us guessed, when we were assigned to Sicil, that we were about to embark on a years-long stint in the unluckiest city in Rivalon. Undead orcs, ghosts, What's next? Man-eating zombie crabs? Ugh. What about the undead? I've fought orcs crazed with blood liquor. Withstood assaults by ogres wielding clubs made of human bones and teeth. Oof. Aye. I've braved the poisonous spear tips of goblins aplenty. But never did I know fear until I faced the undead. Not a pleasant thing for a legionnaire to feel fear. But there you have it nonetheless. Bye. Talk to Scarlet. So or Esmeralda. Tell me, Septimus, would your wife or sweetheart be compensated by the Legion should tragedy befall you on the battlefield? I... I suppose so, lady. But seeing that I'm neither married, engaged, or attached in any way, I've never bothered to inquire. Polite, handsome, and single. Don't go anywhere tonight, Legionnaire. I'd be afraid alone in the dark. Does she get involved with people Lord and then above, kill them? Grant me patience. You're a resource hunter, aren't you? Here because you think I killed my husband. How many times do I need to state and restate my complete innocence in the matter? Got anything for sale first? <laughs> oh, that'd be kind of sweet. A little more pricey than I care to spend right now. Because I'm heckin' poor. Although... Oof. I'm too stinking poor, man. Also, didn't I? Yeah, books. Sell these. Uh. I don't know how to use the die. Balls. All right, fine. Thanks. Who are you? I am Esmeralda, wife of Jake, and now, alas, his widow. Poor man. We were both so young when we married. He so rich and I so poor, but his one and only princess just the same. 
I've been told your husband collected something called Starstone. Can you to elaborate? Starstone? I've never heard of such a thing. Dear Jake had a mineral collection, yes. As far as I knew, it was one of his pastimes, nothing more. Do you mean to imply he collected something dangerous? Something that may have gotten him into trouble? Oh, this is all too much. I feel like I'm drifting from nightmare into nightmare. Tell me more about your husband's murder. Like I told just about every legionnaire in town, I don't know anything about poor Jake's murder. I want his killer found and tried, but everyone suspects me of this evil deed. And you're no different, are you? So what happened? Some of them tittle-tattling crab chasers down the pub call me a murderous gold digger and you believe them? These insinuations truly go beyond the pale. Oh, I think I'm getting one of my headaches. All right, well, tell me more about well, this place. what do you want to know? Sysil. Ah, Sysil. Would you believe this dying metropolis was rather recently one of the realm's greatest assets? Our trade routes were the busiest thoroughfares in the land before the undead took to dragging their carcasses across them. All right, tell me about the undead then. I've heard that once they're animated, the undead feel all the rage and violence their living counterparts felt during life. Can you imagine living through all your most chaotic feelings all the time? Yeah, that kind of sounds be crappy. Quite adamant about her innocence. We'll need to look for evidence. Nice if leather we want boots. To prove she actually did the evil deed. Oh, doors. Oh, doors. Oh, I want in. I need a freaking. I need a thief, man. Painting of a rooster. A bucket. A chest. What is in here? Underwear. Smelly panties. I need it. Because it gives charisma. That's gross. Gross. Did it actually change my underwear? Gross. I'm wearing someone else's smelly panties. That's pretty nasty. Don't do that. Ooh, star pebble. Ooh, diamond. Malachite, moonstone. I'm taking all of these. Thank you very much. I don't even know what they're useful, but I'm taking them. They're mine now. I'm being sneaky. Empty canister. Painting of an end. Cooking. Blah. All right. I don't see anything. Hmm. All right. Let's get out of here. Nothing of interest she uh is insistent of her innocence although i guess of course of course murderers are let's go Oops. fantastic there's a head on a pedestal fantastic what is the greatest illusion in what? what excuse me I'm, I'm trying to prepare for the next show autographs will have to wait until the end tell me about yourself I, doubt I have to tell you that i am the amazing singing stefan the only sentient severed head in sicile my audience sings my praises from hill and dale Psst. You, you you you're a source hunter aren't you oh bless the seven so you've got to help oh. me. I've been kidnapped. Uh, uh, pleasure to meet you. Now, please, uh, Stefan has many fans to meet today. Uh, psst, uh, help me. Take me to Reginald's cellar. There I will reveal everything. Reginald's cellar. If you're ready, I'm going to pick you up now. Don't mind a little ride in my pocket, will you? I don't want to get these people pissed at me. We'll wait in a minute. Reginald, I don't even know where Reginald Teller is. Bursha's shape is gone, gone, gone. Think it vanished through one of them swirly shrines? Another one. Chicken, 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 chicken. Hold still. Come back here. I'll figure out who murdered Jake before the day's through. Just you wait. Detective Kip is on the case. Perfect timing, because your friend is here. Stop! No! What on earth would an undertaker want with the likes of Hoggett? That's that sheep, right? And who are you supposed to be? Well, you're drunk. 
Uh, tell me about oh, yourself. I should have been one of the greats, but here I am gathering peasants to watch peasants perform broadside pageants for peanuts. That's some crazy alliteration there. You got a pretty bad case of the hiccups. No, really? I hadn't noticed. If not for this ridiculous condition, you'd know me as the king's favorite thespian. Uh... Where can I find material to perform? Don't you have an impressive library here in Sicil? I'm sure that beast of a librarian could rustle something up for you. Perhaps I would like to perform Take a show. Take it up with Katarina. She's the master of this pig circus after all. Katarina, is that you? Yaha! Zombie ate your dog? Orc sunk your ship? No matter! You're at Katarina's Fair, a veritable summer home for troubled minds. Won't you take a seat and let our esteemed entertainers whisk you off to a better place? She has a carrot. Tell me about yourself. Well, I'm Katarina the Fair, fairest first lady of the fair, of course. I do love making the acquaintance of my patrons, and who knows which of them might become one of my performers. I've an open stage in want of talent, and I've often found the best young performers among the rank and file of the audience. Open stage? What if I were to say I'm interested in putting on a performance? The theater's fever has overcome you, has it? Marvelous! I do so love a fresh green talent ready to bloom. But I support players, not writers, you see. If you want to perform here, you'll have to find tried and true material. Check the library and see if any of the classics there interest you. Hmm. I'd love to see a source hunter's take on one of the old standards. All right. I guess we'll come back for that. Did he say debut? Oh, hey, Cedric. Can you spare us? You there? Sit. Stay a while. And listen. Right in front. I'll excite you. I'll delight you. I'll beguile you. I'll besmile you. I'm Cedric the Sensational, and I'm, I'm. I'm playing to an empty audience. <laughs> Tell me about yourself. Don't pity me. No, sir. Just a few years ago, I was the all-singing, all-dancing, all-sensational darling of the town. People came from far and wide just to witness my amazing act. When Reginald came, he? he brought some fantastic prop with him. Now, have you seen it? A talking head. Oh, that's the guy that's I over there. I never expected a silly gimmick like that to be my main competition. Tell me about that it competition. Seems even my usually choosy audience has been taken in by that hack's little gizmo. I'm a man of skill, sleight of hand, feats of wit, and pure entertainment. This curio is ruining what used to be an art. And even when there's no crowd to speak of, Old Reggie still has at least one fan calling Bravo and Hee Haw. Sure as the sun sets, that one devotee attracts five more, and those five more all curious about the. Composer. Sounds like a hired person. I don't know how he inspires such loyalty with less talent contained between his hat and his boots than I've in my crusty handkerchief. Gross. I don't want to know what you do with your crusty handkerchief. Okay. Uh. <gasps> oh, I thought the guy disappeared. <laughs> Fantastic! Bruv! What are you looking at me for? There's a great show going on right in front of you. And look, there stands the world famous Reginald the Entertainer. Better check it out if you don't want to miss the time of your life. I've got nothing. Tell me about yourself. Oh. I'm nothing but your average man taking in guy. the best show I've ever seen. I'm amazed and astounded that for a meager gold coin or two, I can take in this first-rate entertainment all day long. Same show all day? That seems like a bit much. Well, I've stumbled into quite the fine gig. 
I just let my appreciation for Reggie's work be known, and he slips me a few gold coins in return. My voice happens to carry pretty far. Cyseal hears me. Cyseal wants to see what the fuss is all about. And let me tell you, this amazing show just can't be beat. <laughs> Don't ask me what the tale's about. I'm just here for the eye candy. The head? This show is worth the hype. Though that bloke in the back seems to be having a bit too much fun, if you ask me. Uh huh. My word, what's that nutter in the back hollering about? I'll <laughs> be the show for all the ruckus. The head kind of reminds me of um. This show is worth the hype. What's it called, Buster oh, that Scruggs? Bloke at the back seems to be having that a one bit episode. Too much fun, if you ask me. With um, what's his name? Liam. Liam Nelson sounds wrong. Those are adorable emotes, Birch. Fantastic. Liam Neeson, I think, is his name. Right? That sounds right. Ask me what the tale's about. I'm just eye candy. It's a head, my guys. That's a. It's weird. You there? Take a seat. Prepare to laugh your head off. Cry your eyes out. And teeter on the edge of your seat with an original tale. Teeter on the edge of your seater. The talking severed head. Okay. Tell me about yourself. I am Reginald the Illusionist, purveyor of the most amazing artifact in Andervale. This fantastical talking head. Catch the act while you can. This show will only remain in Sicil as long as there are Legion soldiers to entertain. Mm, uh, what about your competition? Ha! Yes, I know of that talentless bull. He was here entertaining the troops before I was brought in. I'm sure the hack simply bored his audience to tears <laughs> until they cried for a replacement. Enter Reginald the Illusionist. We need our boys in red happy, relaxed, and ready to fight. Not wasting their energies cringing at a fool with a depressed rabbit in a borrowed hat. Hmm, let's discuss your crowd warmer. Are you impressed by my prowess in the arts of entertainment? Nothing attracts a crowd like a crowd. And that crowd warmer has increased my profits by 60% simply by showing a little honest appreciation for our show. Let's discuss the head. That's right, a talking head. And he doesn't just talk. He'll weave you a yarn so fantastic, you'll be begging to hear just one more and just one more. It's quite a story how I found him, too. Yeah, let's hear it. I obtained this curio by some rather sensational means. What's that? You see, I was diving in search of a rare medicinal sea herb. I volunteer at the local children's apothecary on weekends. In the shallows around Sicil's own Black Cove. Black and Cove. I spotted something amazing. The chest belonging to the fabled Captain Pontius. Though the chest was stuck fast, I summoned a swell of great strength and prized it free from the ancient rock. I had the treasure of a lifetime in my very hands. But then, slurp, gulp, I was swallowed by an ordinary kraken that seemed to appear from nowhere. In the hubbub, I lost hold of my prize and watched it sink to the bottom of the beast's cavernous belly. Still, I feared only for a moment that all was futile. Before my mind's eye swam the faces of the many war widows and leprotic orphans who would be lost without my charitable support, I knew I had to live. Grabbing fast to the hilt of a cutlass that floated by at just that moment, I summoned all my strength to slash a great what? gash in the creature's gut. Freeing myself from my would-be tomb, I swam as quickly as I could, first to the surface and then to the shore. It was there, along the rocky beach, that I tripped over this talking head. Strange, isn't it? Yeah. Here, have ten oh, shiny gold pieces. What a generous spectator! Find a seat in the front, eh? I just wasted That's ten gold. I see. Well, I can't say I'm surprised. Give me my gold back. Take a seat, won't you? Damn it. 
I'm just wasted my money. By the seven. Oh wait, what here you go. Tail. Have that. 135? Sure, I'll take that. He doesn't have enough money. You suck. You suck. Bye. What are you looking at me no. for? No, stop talking to that guy. <laughs> I keep clicking on him on accident. Whoa, I just clicked out of the game. Okay. Uh. Oh, I know where that is. Let's go this way. Okay, so I need to go to the library and learn something. You go to the, talk to the sailors. I'll figure out oh. the murdered. Talk to you already. What's in here? Who are you, beggar? One coin or two, noble spirit? One coin or two? Tell me about yourself. Oh, I am a happy man, and certainly a humble one now. It turns out losing it all has its own share of benefits. How did you lose it all? Ah. A fool once was I, and ever seeking greater satisfaction than that which I already enjoyed. In my folly, I sought the counsel of those notorious Watcher statues on the Western Cliffs. Their guidance ruined any small fortune I might have had, but certainly granted me humility. Tell me more. I'd heard they were not to be trusted, that they gave fools advice to the fools who sought them, but... Somehow, I believed that I was the exception. They told me that Fools I would do. find fame and renown if I renounced my worldly possessions, all my worldly possessions, and became a great figure of piety and humility. Fire, the most thorough cleanser, was my method. But as my house burned in front of me, I felt no elevation, no piety, only the sudden weight of my own idiocy upon my very soul. Here, take ten gold pieces. The soul of a starty <laughs> smile. Fuck! Wasting all your gold, stranger. Here, take a gold Thank piece. You, kind one. Fuck. That did nothing. Wait. So those statues told him he'd have to renounce his mouse. earthly possessions to become a spiritual leader, did they? How can you close the door and keeping up with Joneses? Fortune. When is poverty per was a prerequisite of spirituality? Right. I'm not going to throw my things on a pyre in the hope that the stench of my burning trousers will please an ill-defined spirit. Mouse, come back here. I'm getting experience for... I don't even know what I'm doing. Give. Stop it. I've just got back from the realm of fairy. It was lovely, but I should have brought my winter boots. Your winter boots. Okay. Little mouse friend. Can I get over here? No, maybe not. I really need that teleport spell. Hey, what's up, guys? The Legion stands at the ready. Mmm. Why do you have an eyeball? That's a little weird. Murder within the walls, undead outside of the walls. And here we Legionnaires sit twiddling our thumbs. All right. Uh, I have to talk to you. I wouldn't venture too far out of town if oh, I were perfect. you. Many Legionnaires did so before you. Very few have returned. Or whose invention? The stasis blaster. Stasis blaster. <laughs> it's quite a sight, no? The ray can singe a zombie or skeleton to ash in a matter of seconds. That's pretty cool. These days, we legionnaires hold a lottery to see who gets to man the thing. <laughs> you can bet it's no small amount easier to blast those flesh-eating monstrosities from a distance than to get within striking range. Don't ask me how the blaster works, though. I just make sure the thing's hitting its targets. All right, you've been <laughs> here. Heal yourself. I feel better already. Good. Sorry, sir. Oh, we got Murder the barracks here. The walls, undead outside the Fight. walls. Sir, no, sir. Hello, drill sergeant. You'll only encourage it. Good luck with these Sicilian sauce hunter. They'll run you ragged if you let them. None of you have anything that I care about. 
Attention. Ooh, there's some fire arrows. About this. Now I pulled her off you before Thanks. she could do any real about it. Not. Okay, so Ooh, I need to go in there. What's over here? Come on with the dramatic. Whoa, wait. It's not as bad as all that. The face, Virius. Hello. The ice blue eyes narrow beneath a heavy brow streaked with sweat and dust. Her hands tense into claws, held at the ready. I mean, you no harm. Who are you? Her brow knits together, but something in her pose relaxes. She clears her throat. I am Bear Daughter. I have not come here to find trouble with the Screech Woman. She only startled me. The Screech Woman. And you, you are a source hunter. I have heard many tales of your order. Your history is long and honorable. How'd you end up in the cage? This woman here, the one who now plots her revenge. She crept behind me while I was hunting, and I only defended myself. I, I would not hurt an innocent screech woman, woman on purpose. <laughs> but soon their swords were upon me, and they, they forced me into this screech cage woman. meant for dogs. Mother would rip the fur from her chest if she could see how they keep me. Hey, who's that then? Come on, stand where my good eye can see you. Easy, Tull. That's the source hunter you're talking to. Curious situation you got here. Why is she in a cage? She may have the look of a woman if you squint hard enough, but she's no more than a wild animal. Oh, dude, her face got fucked up. We got reports of a strange-looking outsider skulking through the town with her bow drawn. I found her crouched behind a tree, taking aim at a fat old rat trotting along the city walls. I tapped her on the shoulder to see what was what, and the beast startled like a wild cat and lunged right at me. Bit Talia right in the face, she did. <laughs> it wasn't pretty, and now it's got a chunk ripped off it to boot. Enjoy it while you can, Ver. There's not another legionnaire in the cohort that'll have you if I go rabid. Ooh, zing. What's gonna happen well, to her? that's to be decided. She doesn't seem to be sick, despite Tully's moaning. We can't keep her here forever, but we can't well send her into the wilds again, can we? Perhaps it'd be worth taking this stranger under our wings. She'd like to come in handy if we can trust her to watch her backs. Sounds fun to me. That's a mighty big if. We can't have one of our team wandering off into the wilds when we need her to be watching our backs. Can't say I'm surprised. You wouldn't want an untamed thing like that sleeping next to you at night. Now it's for us to decide what to do with her, of course. If I've got my say, we'll take her into the woods and put her down. Not Let her out. Say, Source Hunter, do you reckon the vendor's got any large, rather large, burlap sacks lying about and where's the nearest river anyhow <laughs> what will become of this admittedly strange stranger well that's to be the sun after all well that's a relief ain't it ah we found a good home for her after all tell wait a minute we have a friend now i did the same thing She's not good for anything more than cannon fodder. I'm very confused Don't now. Don't back on her when she's got that bow within arm's reach. Oh, she's a bow person. Bear daughter. Yo. Hi. Source hunter. I have heard tales both I like her. grand and terrible about the world of humans. I myself was caged one moment and freed the next by your, our kind. You're not human, are In you? Home forest. Every creature acts according to the nature of its kind. Birds frighten easily. Badgers fear little. But amongst men, there are no guarantees. Bear daughter. There's little in the world more valuable than the minds of men. It is a source of great beauty and much to spare, although it is uniquely human. Yes, as you notice, we're unpredictable species. We like to kill as to heal. It's best the way be wary of those you meet for this very reason. It's difficult for me to claim same. humanity as you do. I am still learning to see myself in the faces of those I meet. And those I meet do not always see themselves in me. It is strange to stand with one foot in the forest and the other in the city, Source Hunter. I am glad that now I have you standing beside me. Why can't I do? Sorry, sir. Aha! Gimme. 
things. Wait. Send to Bear Daughter. Does she have any skills? What are your skills? Uh. Get rid of that. Craftsmanship. Ah, oh, she's a lore master. Fuck yeah. That's exactly what I needed. Oops. Zing. Ha ha. I learned a thing. Identified. Oh, he didn't even have a weapon. Here, have this. There you go. You need. Fuck. I sold all my armor. God damn it. I need sneeze. Oh crap, I need sneeze. Oh, my eyes hurt. I gotta sneeze so bad. Send a better daughter. Such a cool name. Sorry, sir. Okay. Attention! About this. Initiative immunity to cursed. I don't know if she can wear that. Recruits! That was sloppy. 36. Again! Hers is actually okay, so here. Damn it. Send to Roderick. There you go. Damn. Heck yeah. Okay. Um. I didn't get any skills or anything with her, which is kind of a bummer. There's more stuff down here? Oh, that's the exit. It's over here. Oh, I can go inside here. Wait, Captain. Oh, here's the captains. Let's go in here. I'm gonna go down here real quick. Mouse, mouse. Do you hear that clinking? I think someone's got keys in their pocket. Hello. Quiet. No talking to these scoundrels, criminal scam. I'm not a criminal, you jerk. <laughs> Excuse me, grabby Gus. This is a Legion treasure room, and absolutely no non Legionnaires are allowed in. All right. Bye. I'll come back there later. Find a way to break in. Arhu study. Ah! Maybe we'll go talk to Arhu real quick. Evidence chest. There's nothing in him. Worthless. Bummer. Oh. Fuck. Worthless. Thing over there. Arhu! Source. I have a friend. Hunter. Welcome. Welcome. Alright, tell me more about yourself. But certainly. What would you like to know? What are you? Oh, I am but a wizard. Yeah, a yeah. guardian of man and beast. Doing? And indeed, I am both. My body, like any other, is bound to temporal decay. But my spirit is a speck of light that shone forth from the eternal sun that is the cosmic soul. My task upon this earth is to protect the heart of nature. The very antithesis of which is the intrigue spun by demons and directors of the dead. Hence my involvement in Sysiel. You see, my one desire is to witness a world in which every mother looks around her and purrs with calm contentment. For she knows that her chicks or children, her cubs or calves, will grow up without knowing the meaning of menace, the enfeeblement of fear. To my great regret, none of them purr as yet. Isn't it dangerous to polymorph like you do? What if you get stuck in the other form? Oh, that'll never happen. 
Granted, a witch could make the polymorph permanent if she'd enchant me and my cat guys, but I'll just have to be careful around witches, won't I? I'm my own wizard, you know, and I don't intend to become anyone's familiar. Tell me about the cat trick. Oh, but that's not a trick. It's a blessing. Or does it surprise you that I enjoy taking a feline guide? Such magic is a gift, Hunter. Oh. To be up, but of, by all means. Shit. I skipped something, but we heard that one before. Let's talk about Jake's murder. Of course. I hope your investigation fares well. What happened the night of the murder? I can but piece together what few morsels fell from the grapevine into a rather disappointing meal, I'm afraid. They say a woman arrived in the King Crab Inn sometime after midnight. She retired to a room on the ground floor where she was soon joined by a man who had been nursing the same cup of wine for hours. I say man and woman because both of them were cloaked and recognized by none. About an hour later, another figure arrived, headed for the same room. Soon after, a terrible commotion erupted and the thundering light of magic was witnessed by the few remaining patrons. It took a while for the landlord to pluck up the courage to enter the mystery room. When finally he did, he found Jake there, dead. How and why he came to be there, no one knows. But I had a good look around the scene of the crime before the Legion barred anyone from entering. The traces of magic I felt were vile. Source, no doubt. Who are your suspects, in your opinion? I myself have none. Even though the rest of the town has already mentally tried and convicted Jake's wife, Esmeralda. Now, it may well be established that she is, in fact, the guilty party. I'm not claiming that I'm certain she's innocent, but let's just say that if I really thought this murder case would be so very easily resolved, I wouldn't have sent for source hunters. Can you tell me more about the strangers that were in league with the orcs? I can't say much more, but that they're madmen. All the more dangerous to us because of their alliance with what should be a natural enemy. You won't see me teaming up with a terrier in a hurry. And what might those be? Tell me about... How did you design those Alistair? Oh. A mere trifle for one with the intellect of a feline and the engineering skills of a human? You basically construct a classic ballista, add a 100% legally obtained self-regenerating source of destructive matter <laughs> to it, and Bobcat's your uncle. You have a flair for understatements, Hunter. I thought we might have done some already. But a minor nuisance in the eyes of a born warrior. But to the Legion, they are green skinned death incarnate. Until they conclude what mischief they intend to see through, or less likely, they are conclusively defeated, we can but bar the gates and hole up like mice while the cats are on the prowl. Tell me about the end. Those who are raising the dead dwell among us. They simply must be. But even though I've spent many a night leaping from tree to rooftop, watching on as citizens stagger home from the inn or simply burn the midnight oil, I haven't spied a single soul worthy of true suspicion. The enemy is wily. I'm they thinking it's Thyrian or whatever his name is. And they've found ways to avoid both detection and distrust. And yet I am somehow convinced that you may succeed where the Legion and I have failed call it instinct oh what you got here got some robes nah and got some zingers man those do a lot of damage oh here's a blue one oh hmm Plus one due to level difference. They're all air. It's kind of a bummer. Five hundred. Oh no. It's 
fourth only 50 that sucks that's a big boost in damage mm. I should keep these now I should send these to what's her name fuck I don't know what to do Should I do something with the rubies? Fine. All right. Still don't quite have enough, huh? How's about you have a malachite? Only one though. There you go. Maybe we'll give him just one ruby. Aha! Fuck. It didn't work the way I wanted. Um, what about a moonstone? Here you go. Here's have one moonstone. Just in case I end up needing some of these things in the future. All right, have a tomato. Apparently, I don't know the effects of a tomato yet. Wait a minute. Oh shit. Hold up. Uh here you go. Okay. Where is I said I had um, a wand. Aha! Yo, that's better than what I would have bought. That's awesome. All right, you're not holding on to anything, are you? Type. I don't see anything. Okay. You. Oh, plus two due to level difference. Fuck. Bummer. Oh well. I'll deal with it. See who smelts it. Where'd it go? Wait, did she pick it up? Fuck. You say you will take me under your wing. Ooh. But I see no feathers. Are you a child <laughs> of the bears as I am of the bears? I'll keep you out of trouble. You're a child of the bears. And so the lonely babe was fed upon the wild mother's milk and cast aside from humankind he thrived among his mother's ilk so says the saga of Thrice. do you know it the wise god wolf amira raised the child Thrice among her litter so you see i have good company Thrice the wolfson and i the bear daughter man i'd be truth, responsible for you a relief. your world is made with rules i have not yet memorized I'm happy to have a friend in such a place. Mm, ask you a few ask questions. Really, my friend. You were ra raised by bears in the Your wild. Your city is far more wild than home forest. In home forest, the rules are clear. In home forest, your strength and speed determine your fate. Here, a tiny screech woman, no swifter than a mudworm, might confine you into a tiny cage, and one must wait for a kind stranger to grant freedom. How did you learn to speak? Jarrett. Wise Jarrett. Taught me the bird songs of your... Our people. If not for him, I would never have learned more than the beasts could teach me. A beast's life is to survive. A human's is to know. I am both beast and human. And so I must do both. You know a lot of history for being daughter of a bear. I have learned all the bird song that Jarrett could teach. I remembered every word. These tales have brought me much pleasure. The remembering of the beasts is without lies. We know not to approach the wasp's nest because long ago, one bear mother discovered its dangers. This she taught to her cubs, and those cubs taught the next. We do not remember Rito and the battle of the buzzing brutes. 
We remember only what is useful to us now. Rito will be forgotten. The beauty of the story will be forgotten. But the lesson will not. It is different between beasts and humans. I am lucky to enjoy both ways. Tell me about Jarrett. He came to me when I was small. A fierce, wild one, yet unaware of the difference between the other cubs and herself. He called to me in a soft song. At first I thought him a great bird. We each reached out to the other. We found each other. Jarrett visited me often. And in time I learned his songs and more. When he built a small cabin within Home Forest, I hunted his food and fetched his water by day while he studied his books and his magics. By night, by the fire, he'd tell me tales of the world of people. Jarrett is my master and my friend, my teacher and myself. He teaches me and I care for him. Why did you come to Saifu? I heard this was a place of many people, so here I came. I have seen more faces here in a day than I had seen in all the days of my life together. But I have not found the face I seek. Jarrett is missing. It is oh. my duty to find him. Do you know where he might be? That mystery is thick and ugly as a swarm of hornets. It started with a great disturbance in Home Forest. A terrible disease came in the night and turned the birds and beasts soft and foul as carrion while they still lived. I watched countless of my loved ones die, rotted from the inside. Mm. When I ran to Jarrett to tell him what I had seen, his reaction was strange. He had no answer. The next morning, Jarrett did not emerge from his room. I left him be, but after three days, I grew anxious. I broke down the door, and inside his chamber was nothing. His equipment, his books, all but some scraps of parchment were gone. He was kidnapped, and all his research was taken with him. The only clue I found was a letter among the scraps. I, I could not make out all the words, but I recognized the threat. Death coming for you. And the signature? Attenborough. I do not know the one called Attenborough, but I know that if I am to find Jarrett, I must start there. Whoever this Attenborough may be, I believe he or she may know where Jarrett has been taken. Oof. All right. Well, we just learned a bunch about the bear daughter. Universal controller manual. Magical unlock scroll, secrets of the scroll. Treasure. I will take all that stuff. And there's something over here. Oh, that's on the other side. Fine. I am on the trail, Source Hunter. Oops. I did not mean to. That scared me. I thought he found me. What is this glowing thing? Trap disarm kit. You could use that. Thanks. Okay, let's get out of that. Um, we'll switch what we found. Roderick, Roderick, have him read these real quick. He's going to be our, our, our maker dude. Superior axe. He can make that. All right, I'm learning a bunch of stuff. That's kind of cool. All right. Um, what hurt you, Scarlet? Why are you hurt? All right, Atreus, or whatever your name is. What have we here, then? A so I need to close those dog treats. I almost hunter, reached eh? for one <laughs> to, to Look, eat. Do what you my snacks incisive. I was eating earlier. Don't make waves and don't interfere with the Legion's affairs. You hear? Yo! Woo! <gasps> A purple. Yo, that's awesome. Two-handed, huh? 
26 to 46. He's got a bunch of skills here. Mm. Fuck. That's like all my money. Reflect melee damage inflicted on you. Requires a shield. Cripple a target. Do I know crippling bro? Blow? Melee defensive stance. Crushing fist. Help a knocked alley back down or pat out a burning one. Ha! Taunt. Whirlwind. Oh man, look at all these awesome things. I want them all. Hitting enemies around you. Melee defense could be cool. I think I know the melee power stance, right? Crippling blow. Two grand! Oh my god! That's so much stinking money. Um. It's because these are worth 500 each. Jeez. Alright, get rid of that one. Fuck. That's so much money. That one does two different damage. 560. That's like all my money. Encourage, fine. I can't open my thing until I'm done with him. Tell me about yourself. I'm Captain Aureus, if you Aureus, must that's his name. Leader of the Legion in Sicil. By which I mean, I have the enviable task of commanding nah. a battalion of walking dead. For I fear it may well be but a matter of time before the undead undo all my soldiers and turn them into dribbling hordes of their own misshapen number. Tell me about Jake's God's murder. God's above! Some politician snuffs it and everyone's in an uproar! Ridiculous! I told that wizard brat of an Ahu not to bother. He just had to send for source hunters, didn't he? Bloody magicians. They see a pigeon poop and think sorcery is afoot. <coughs> Nevertheless, I want to be kept in the loop. Understand? I am in command of this. Town. You are a not jerk. Not Mayor Cecil, not Ahu, and definitely not some hotshot source hunter. So investigate Jake's death if you feel so inclined. But report back to me the moment you discover something out of the ordinary. The scene of the crime is over at the King Crab Inn. You can tell the guard you have my permission to enter. Now off with you. Uh, what about Esmeralda? Esmeralda is Jake's wife. Well, well, widow. Everyone in town down to the crabs on the beach is convinced she killed him. Now, the girl has the reputation of being a flirt. There is that. But that doesn't suffice as evidence, wouldn't you say? Or do source hunters rely on hearsay alone, perhaps? That certainly would explain some of the cock-ups you lot have made in the past. What? You're going to stand there and claim with a straight face your order never wrongly tortured and executed anyone? Hardly. But I won't stand for such nonsense. If you bring evidence before me, I'll evaluate it with perfect objectivity. The Legion relies on reason, see? Not idle superstition. <sighs> if you must. Is your main problem the undead? Bravo! Figured that one out. This guy's a douche I'm nozzle. I've stuck here for two years because we're being besieged by fluffy kittens, you know? Those brain-feasting freaks out there keep on coming. And it takes all the sword arms and all of our who's half-baked contraptions to keep them at bay. 
keeping them at bay. That is all we do. Were that I could break their backs once and for all. How do you like Sicy? How am I enjoying it? Are you spoiling for a fight, Hunter? Yeah, bring it. Are you? Sicy stinks of fish, reeks of orcs, and on a good day, the wind disperses the stench of decomposing corpses. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had a proper piece of steak, and by now, I wretch at the mere sight of sardines. So, in conclusion, I am not enjoying Sicil. Uh, tell him about the Legion. We are the pride of Rivalon, to be found and to be seen everywhere. We don't hide in the dark and lurk in corners like some I could mention. No, we protect the civilized from the barbaric, and we do so impeccably. Arhu suspects a sect might be at work around Sicil. Yes, and he also spends most of his time in the guise of a cat. Licking God's knows which body parts, sects, sorcerers. He'll be seeing flying carpets next. What are your opinion of the orcs doing at the I'd beach? I say they are looking for weak spots in our defenses. They can't make an attack over land for fear of Ahu's magical machines, so they're trying their luck by sea. They won't succeed though. Not against the Legion. Oh, what now? <sighs> if you must. Oh, that was all of them. Cool. Peace. Oh, wait. What do you got in here? Arius' diary. One of you need to distract him. Ah, the source hunter. Oh, joyous hour. Oops, I'm a detective. Oh, there's a key. Hell yeah, dog. Um, is this supposed to be here? Oh, I think I fucked that up. Move that on accident. How do I shrink it? Like that. There you go. Good enough, right there. Okay. Cool. Um, Roderick, you can stop talking to him now. We we know he's a jerk. Okay, so we got some new stuff. Scarlet. Send this to Roderick. Thought I got. Aha. Right. Uh, I kind of want to give that to Roderick just because it comes with armor specialist. So let's do that. Send this to better daughter. All right, we're going to learn this. Damn it. Put that. No, what I had. Oh, wait. This new one does slightly less lowest damage. Ten percent chance to stun status. That's better. Yep. Equip. Send to Scarlet. Read. 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 I actually might read his diary. La. Sorry, sir. Uh, not seeing anything there. <laughs> I can sell him his own fucking shit back. Learn. Your man in arms. All right. Can I learn that? skills. Fuck. No, I can't. Damn it. All right. That's a, that's hugely unfortunate. Okay. Um, that's an exit. Let's go up here.
I wouldn't venture too far out of town if I were you. Many legionnaires did so before you. Very few have returned. Okay. What's the contraption? invention, the stasis blaster. Quite a side no. The rake these days don't art. Yeah, we learned that already. Um. Well, I need it. Come back down here. All right. Well, I guess we'll just walk across the whole area real quick. Ooh, chest. Oh, there's so many chests. Better to evacuate this place while there's still some left to save, I say. Go while the going's good. You only have 85, come on. I could do with a cold drink. I don't think I want anything there. What about you? Honored to meet you. Wish I was a source hunter. Dangerous line of work, but it's a damn sight more glorious than being a chicken. an engineer. Chicken, chicken, chicken. Step aside! Step aside! Look out! This maniac's gonna turn me into a meat pie! Look out! Isn't it a chicken sesame we've eaten? We should catch it, give it to the cook. A chicken has a right to live too! Yes, let's pardon him. <laughs> Just look at the little blighter. He doesn't deserve the knife. Yippee ki yay! I'm free! I'm free! So long, suckers! You let my chicken escape? Oh, he was running that way. It's your fault. Lucky day, Jack. Not to tell the troops they're getting nothing but the cornbread. I love cornbread, dude. Cornbread's fantastic. What are you talking about? I'm totally okay just eating a crap ton of cornbread. I do that normally. So good. That weapon was only worth 20. Jeez. Okay. I thought that weapon was worth a lot more. Okay, what do you got in here? Uh, Raw meat, butter knife, cooking. Let's go upstairs. Hello, how are you? Well, Source Hunter, you come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment Shit, to fit you Shit, I just spent all my money. Foot, if it's a trade you're after. I just spent all my money. Fuck. <gasps> I'm purple. Telekinesis, no! That's the freaking one I need. What did... Why are there Venus flytraps? Pickpocketing. What's this? Ring kit. Can I make rings? I need 500 gold. Uh. This. Um. Yep. Mine. Hopefully I don't need diamonds for anything. That would be very unfortunate. Heck yeah, I got telekinesis now. Cooking pot. Ch ooh, there's ooh, a key and a chest, huh? Look this way. Well, source hunter, you come to the right place, you have. I got every style of equipment to fit you from head to foot. Hey, Bear Daughter, can you open this? I don't think she can. That's a bummer. Wait, there's a key over here. Maybe that's it. If... What do you think you're what? doing? How'd you know? How'd you know? Fuck. She's gonna fuck me up. She's level seven. She's legit gonna fuck me up. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm knocked down. No, I'm not. It'd be wise to flee. Bye. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm all the way down here now. Yo. Oh, she's invisible. Oh, that fucking sucks. 
She gets to go again. Why is she gonna go three times? Oh shit. Ah, bear daughter's gonna get fucked. What the fuck, man? Stop just fucking her up. That wasn't fair. Why was Roderick being an idiot? All right. Zing. Uh, he's not gonna be able to flee. She's gonna have time to leave. Wait, can he just? God damn it. Everyone's all split up. All right. Where did... Okay, you... Scarlet, you come over here. Ouch. Bye. Fuckers. That sucked. Where are you, Scarlet? Why aren't you walking? Why are you so stinking far away? That's the other question. Oh my god, look how far away they put her. Why? Wait, can I I can do this, right? Oh, thank god. Okay. That doesn't belong to us, you know. Uh, we're source hunters. Other people's possessions don't count as resources Damn we it. can seize at our own discretion. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Everyone needs to heal up. As good as a new penny. Oh, does she have? Nope. I thought she had a heal. Jeez. Well, that sucked. Did it sprout legs and run away? Ah, Feeling hot under the collar. All right, I'm gonna. They're not gonna. I keep hearing attack sounds and scaring me. Okay, I'm gonna save. These stools are for our leaders. Is she gonna fight me? This better work. Water wand. Sure, I'll take the jelly room. Time to go. How about a what? What do you think you're doing? How about a gift to heal old wounds? How about... Uh, <laughs> a tooth. There's some shells. You like some shells? Shells? Oh, damn. I'm gonna have to fix that up. Here, have some orders. Some cheese and a tomato and an apple. Sounds pretty good to me. And a mushroom that I just stole. Have some bones. How about some parchment? Some rat tail? Heck yeah. How about a tooth? Sorry, I need the shovel. Here you go. Where'd you learn that little trick, Source Hunter? The Red Lamp District? It didn't, uh... It did nothing for my reputation with her. Oops. Alright. I picked up, uh... That... And this. Oh, I forgot to put a hat on. Rip. I don't want to see it. 
Perception. Sure. Damn it. There we go. Plus three due to level difference. Fuck, man. Nothing's nasty, though. Okay, I can't do that yet. Although the combo of air and fire is... Or, uh... Air and whatever. The other one I have is pretty sweet. Okay, so I did that. Did Esmeralda. I think we go back to the crime scene. Whoops. We do have to go talk to those sailors, too. Um, this I need to figure out how to do. Wait, no, I was gonna... I was gonna finish observing some of the areas here. Oh. Oh, it Elgin goes to and fro the city's youth. <laughs> they oh, we need to find the library, hustle. too. When I sit I don't remember where that's at. And watch it all. Oh, how nice it is of you. The very picture of youth. To break the monotony of an elder's day. Wild away on this hardwood bench. That's some resistances. Pray, let me be forward with you. Oh, sapling rose. Oh, leaf of spring. My weary mind is troubled and would highly prize thy gentle handed assistance, thy, thy kind ministrations. Tell me about yourself. I am but an aged elf that has seen the years parade in long succession. Gladly shall I tell you more. Will I regale thee, O whelp of men, with my tale? <laughs> But not here, where the winds may steal my words. Uh, what are you looking for you help would, for? You, you would listen to my grievances, guide me towards untroubled realms. Oh, you are truly a wonder, oh, budding flower of the morn. Yet, th that which I would tell you is of a rather private nature. So let us escape both the chill and the eye of public scrutiny. Hot spiced wine and a snug little room awaits us on the King Crab's first floor. Mm. Let's go there so that we can warm our bones, yet make shiver our hearts with a tale of loss and sorrow. Oh, you're creepy. I can hear you when you're talking. I don't like it. All right, I'll see you there then. Oh. Oh. Have I not been here yet? Oh. Yeah, there's a whole nether area. Shit. Okay. Bunch of stuff I can look at here. No one cares. Oh, heck yeah, money. Oh, I found a thing. Okay. And arcane secrets. Oh, that's the, that's the crab. Hello. This is Mortitioner's house. Hello. Zombies. Robert's ledger. I've got my eyes on the prize. Robert's Ledger. I might have to read that. Ooh. I'm going to read that right now, actually. Furthermore, I find it impossible that any but Mayor Cecil, Captain Arius, Evelyn, or Esmeralda 
would have been able to gain access to the body without my noticing. A corpse can't just vanish into thin air. And even if it could, it's not as though a strong wind could blow a sack of gold onto the empty slab. No, one of them must have been involved, but as long as no one goes digging up Jake's coffin, I don't see how the crown could ever retreat back to me. Looks like the mortician is rather suspicious about Jake. Uh-huh. What could Mayor Cecil, Captain Aureus, or Evelyn have to do with it? Hmm. We still have to do that do the head quest. All right, I'm gonna talk to him. So, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks, or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? Uh. Oh, I need. Nails, because I think I can make boots so I don't slip. Tell me about yourself. This here is my family business. Yes, there's been a Roberts escorting stiffs into the next life since the foundation of Sysail itself. They don't write epics about morticians, but I'm proud of my work nonetheless. What do you know about Sad Jake's murder? story, that. Though if I'm speaking plainly, the sentimental aspect of it all doesn't make much of an impression on an undertaker. Especially not these days, with so many laid low by the orcs and such like. I just concern myself with giving the remains a respectable exit from life. We set him to rest in the northern graveyard. Perhaps he can finally get a little peace. About his body. How do you... Ah, the ledger, is it? Fool was I to leave it in the open. Or perhaps I even looked forward to being found out. Well, as you know, I have my suspects in the matter. What would you like to know? What about Mayor Sissel? Plenty of us shopkeepers entrust the mayor with the spare keys to our businesses, you know. And he's the only person in town with a second copy of the key to the mortuary. He could have used it to sidle in without a peep, if he was so inclined. What about the captain? Aureus himself paid me a visit the night the body was delivered. Came rapping at my door in the frosty morning before the sun had even started peeping. And told me to tell him, and only him, if I noticed anything strange or suspicious about the remains. Can't see why he'd bothered to go through all that trouble, unless he knew something the rest of us don't. What about Evelyn? I know it sounds strange suspecting the doctor's apprentice of something so ghoulish as this, but there's few in this city could manage to transport a corpse without raising eyebrows. It was she who delivered Jake's body from the inn to the mortuary, and there was something about her that night, some kind of excitement. Seemed she could barely contain her thoughts that there was something thrilling about to happen. I can't quite settle it in my mind how a young medical professional would have such a strange reaction to an occasion such as that. And this may or may not have anything to do with the whole rigmarole. But her master, Dr. Theleron, bought an old shack of mine, one overtaken by undead, for an exorbitant price considering what he was getting. I never did figure what he wanted it for. Ow. But he sure seemed eager. Oh. Uh, why do you expect Esmeralda? I never saw a widow less distraught at the death of her husband, and I've seen hundreds pass through my parlor. It was she who rang my bell just before the body was Crimson! Lured me outside. How's it going, my friend? She needed air before discussing the funeral arrangements. Some accomplice could have sneaked in and grabbed Welcome the, to the stream. while I was comforting the oh so overcome why are Esmeralda. The my the bot is just like super broken right now. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, a, lo a lot of the alerts and stuff are broke for some reason. Hi, Dougie. About the bag of gold you see for keeping quiet about Jake's body. That gold's the only good thing to come out of this blasted affair, and I certainly plan on making some use of it. Come now, you're a good man and pillar of this community. Hand over this blood money before stains your reputation and conscience. Shit. Fuck. Fuck. Uh, the game just minimized. Oh, because the stupid bot thing opened up. Did I win? I won. Esmeralda was misunderstood. Don't blame her. I don't know. We've got to figure it out. Fuck. 
No! God, I always lose these. Pillar of the community? <laughs> half the city doesn't know my name, and the other half regards me as the spirit of death itself. I'll keep my reward, thanks, and the community can think whatever it wants. What's your reward? Because I'm going to steal it. The death man <gasps> is nervous as a squirrel. I'm certain he's hiding something. So, what's the bad news? More orcs rampaging through the docks? Or have those infernal statues sent another soul flying to his death? That's mine. Close this. Don't come in here. Don't come in here. Oh, that's mine. All right, nothing else worthwhile. Open this. All right, let's get out of here. Ask a thousand times if you like. I'd rather ri like I said. I'm sure a sin, not the ghoul responsible. For snatching sure. Woo! Excuse me. All right, I'm out of there. All right. Well, I did just find out some new things. Uh, she can hold on to that. We'll send this to better daughter. Identify. Identify. Leadership. Oh, yep. Roderick. Yo! That thing's awesome. Dang it. Alright, well... But I have a plus one to my man-at-arms from this. Oh, it's armor specialist. Damn it. Alright, do I want leadership? In HP. Yeah. And I will give this to Scarlet. Plus three. Ah, it's such a pain. All right, she's just wearing a normal hat. What about. Yeah, that'll, that'll do. I can accept that. We also need to keep healing my friends because they're still hurt. Hey, Roderick, you gotta heal. Into the fray once more. A stitch in time, eh, friends? Yeah, it's, he's uh, he's definitely suspicious. He knows something. Also, he said something about there being a body to the north. So where's his body? Hmm. Oh, you know what? I need to go. Damn it. There's so many things I got to do. Let's go over here real quick. See where this leads. Oh, forges. Recipes, food, objects, potential combination. Oh, she doesn't know how to use this. What am I doing? Roderick does. Well, what's this I've spotted? Yeah, what'd you spot? What'd you spot? No, I wasn't aware. What'd you find? The hammer? Uh... All right, what can you make? Short bow, spear, boots, objects. Hmm. Okay. That's a bummer. What did you spot? I have no idea what she spotted. That's a bummer. Okay, um, 
Let's go to the crab. What's the crab? This is the crab. And then we got to go talk to the sailors still. We have two things to do in here now. Why aren't you healing her? There you go. There we go. Come on. Holy crap, there's a lot of quests. Alright, um... This is the crime scene. Let's go talk to that elf. Aha! Definitely gonna open this chest. Ah, you have come. Yes. That is most satisfactory. Be gone, a brittle mask of age. Hear me now. Repeat the words of Brittle Tooth, the child snatcher of Carador. Come, play with me, for I'm hungry. Come, play, play, play. Wait, do you want to eat me? Tell me about My yourself. My name is Eglandir Twilselanar. Wow. Elf of the house of Gandavum. The slaughtered house of Gandavum. But by the twin blades of the Shadow Vixen, I shall have my revenge. The walls of memory are stained with blood. And I would see yeah. them. I definitely don't want to play with him. That's true. What about that assistance you asked for? Yes. A game of blood and brutality, of death and dexterity. <laughs> Fun as herring the horror Harlequin. But like the serpentine stalker, this is before the stab. Hush now. Dark. I don't like you. Hush. Give me the creeps. Hush. And listen to my tale. The elves of Gandavum. They lived in peace. Oh, yes. But one night, when the moon had hid her face, the orcs of the tribe of Kazuldagar beset our city. They cooked and ate and burned every last one of us. The light of dawn never saw an elf of Gandavum no more. All undone. Every last one of us. Except for me, the Midnight Rambler, away from the city. I was very old back then already, though indeed I whisper of many years hence. But death shall not find me. Oh no. But this guy freaks not me out. Until every beast of Kazaldegard has been bled. You freaky man. I may be frail. A withered grey, but the wealth of kings is mine. Countless assassins have ministered to the vengeance that is my want, and now is almost over. By Kala, Lady of the Last Gaze, I swear it is almost. I done. think Kala is a Only bad the very elf last deity. One of the Kazaldegar still eludes me. The crowning kill that would seal its fate and mine alike. I have tracked her down by the curse of the spine spear I have. She does not know her ill-shapen son is setting fast. Color the dusk red, O oh sword of youth. Bloody the day with the bramble sap that runs through the veins of Victoria. Bring me the amulet that clings to her flesh, soon to fade. <laughs> and yours shall be the bounty of vindication mine shall be its sanguine satisfaction after long long last victoria i'm looking for a girl org named victoria yes victoria she is the one whose heart must be held in hand 
the heart around which the fingers of that hand must clench and tighten until its choking flesh bulges with blood and its beat slowly breaks. The orcs of Gazultica, they knew my name, oh yes. By the bite of the roving rattler, they knew my design. And so they sought to save their last, an infant, she who was to be queen, to no avail, oh no. Years, how many I know not, years I searched, and now she has been found. Her name is that of a woman, her employment that of a civilized being. But by the fork of Barbara Maneater, she is nothing but an orc, a cest of nature, one of a misbegotten litter dragged into life from the tumored womb of a filthy, coarse-haired beast that was humped like a dog in the darkness of a stinking hollow. Gross. Victoria. Oh, that's librarian. the librarian. I need to find the librarian. Doctor. <laughs> Adopted child of Cecil, mayor of Cecil. There is bloodlust in you. I can feel it. Let it You're out. a freak, Set man. Free. No I'm not going to get you the revenge. Last of the Kazaldagar. By the breasts of Sishara, goat sucker, give me my revenge! Mm, nah. You're kind of weird. That was quite the radical change we witnessed. I never would have thought that the benign old man we met outside would turn out to be a vengeance-driven aficionado of assassins. He's much as savage as the oaks. Yep. And how was Victoria Gills of her crime tribe? She was a babe at the time. Yep. Indeed, Victoria probably doesn't even know about her past. And yet she's on a... Let's call him eccentrics hit list. Yeah, fuck that guy. He creepy. Who's Victoria? How can I find her? Let's see. Key, lockpick, or hammer. Oh my good man. Okay. Dream now I can go Please do keep in here. Stop right there. I've spoken to Arius. Let me inside. Permission to not exactly the friendliest bloke, the captain, is he? Well. Your reward for getting your ear chewed off is a waltz through the town's finest magical murder <laughs> scene. Enjoy. Okay. Why can't I move? Because he didn't open it. Ugh. Starstone. Yo! Yo! Oh, fucking scares me every time. Unlocked a new room at my homestead. Everything we do seems to fortify your abilities. I suppose your example has inspired me to reach new heights I've never envisioned. That inspiration hardly flows one way, my friend. Yeah. Because we a team. Let me open this. Hey, Roderick. You need to open this. Break it down if you need to. It's a level five. It's not going to break. Fuck. We did level up, though. What do we got? Uh, I don't remember what I wanted to learn with her. Oh, yeah, I need fucking lock picking, man. That's really what I need. Ooh, two extra ability points. Ooh, that's pretty sweet. Hmm. That one sucks. Two points in charisma, but I lose a point in intelligence. That's rough. Fuck. That's rough. All right, I'm going to do all skilled up. And then I'm going to do point in wand. Why can't I do a point in dual wielding? Hmm. Reduces damage penalty and total action cost when do wielding. 
and reduces cost of attacking by 2 AP. I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to do... Willpower sounds kind of good. Skills. I still can't learn these for some reason. It's kind of annoying. setting. It's not exactly what I wanted to do. Uh, shit. What was it? Man at arms. Skills. Yes! Learn. Yes! I learned a thing. Press K to open your skill screen. Okay. Huzzah! I learned a thing. I'm proud of myself. Okay, now I have... Do I want all skilled up for you as well? Or do I want to continue with this bully idea? Picture fails with 3% man at arms, extra vitality. Ooh. That's actually pretty sweet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll give him an all skilled up as well, and we're gonna give him a. Oh, I gotta repair my shit. I forgot about that. I need a repair hammer. Um. Do I want to give him lock picking? I give him armor specialist. Although these could be something worthwhile. I'm going to give him uh, armor specialist. Okay. I didn't give anyone fucking God damn it here. Pick this up. Shut tight. Open. Pick up. It's mine now. Okay. Well, there's not much here. Looking good. Hmm. Oh, play here, all right. But that doesn't solve the mystery. Yeah, I didn't figure anything out. Fuck. Um. Can we get in here? I need someone with pickpocket, man. Or, um, lockpick. that harbor warehouse no there we go that'll work let's go talk to those um oh can i grab this now that might be too heavy we're gonna try it though hey bull i love you Why we have a sale to 
that you have to go anymore. <laughs> Speaking of you, Tokyo, that Luffy yeah, that doesn't work. Fuck. Alright, you. Ever hear about the time the captain Hello there. Welcome to Sai Sea. Uh, I found work for you. Is a job yet? We'll take anything, really. So there's a captain offering booze yeah. and brass for a bit of crate loading? God be praised, you've done it, friend. Off we go. Yay! I did a thing. Now what? Um Okay, uh, how do I know which one's... It scared me. Elf, Orc, Blood Feud. Talking statues, warming the crowd. Oh, right, the head. I can't even smell the sea air over this rot. Also, I need to find Maxine. Just making conversation, mate. Mate, he says. We are colleagues. Nothing. Can I get in here? Come now. It's just a. Oh, that's a magic lock. Will you? Um. Yes. Honest pay for an. Honest I already forgot what I was gonna do. What was I gonna do? Oh, the, the head. Let's see if I can help him. Hey, buddy. Don't you worry. We're coming for you. Fuck, I need a lock picker, man. This sucks so much ass. How do I close this? It is said, and this I have heard from a ghost who knew Elva, who knew Elliot, who is said to have known Sigurd himself, that the king had a great thirst for color. Thanks. I can pick you up. It won't be the worst indignation I've suffered. Get on with it then. Hey, stop Fuck. that! Ha! Yeah, I kind of knew that was going to happen. Fuck! Um, where's the library? Okay, there's more stuff up here that I just haven't seen yet. Holy crap, this area is huge. That's going outside the city walls. I don't know if I want to do that. Uh. Right? Yep, that's outside the city walls. I guess we'll go check it out. We gotta go find that body. Hopefully nothing's out here gonna... Destroy my face. Let's keep it that way. I could do with a cold drink. Good luck out there, Hunter. Evil lurks beyond Sai Seal's ramparts. Okay. I feel Can't like see. I just had a long bath in a cold lake. Hmm. Okay. Undead swordsman. How can I not see them? I'm looking right at them. Eaten zombie. Ah, oh, stupid rock. Uh, Ricochet. And I can move three.
Oh, she can't move very far when that happens. All right. Zing! Uh, did not kill him. That sucks. 3 AP. Encouragement, my friends! What's that do? Strength, dexterity, intelligence, constitution. That's pretty sweet. Ah, stay away from my friends. Uh, look at him. <laughs> okay. Um. Unlimited uses. Zing. All right, I'm definitely going to do this ricochet. Zing. How is he healing? That's what I want to know. All right. Wait, we got to do this. Blam! Now I'm poisoned, but I smashed him, so. Whoa. Whoa, he healing himself. Feeling trapped. Haha, you got stunned when you were trying to get away. Sucker. Um. He's undead, so this should hurt him. You know what? I'm just gonna do this. Bazap! Uh. Fuck. Got him. Yeah, you missed. Bing! Got him. I'm the best. She has a anti-poison thing. Yay! An invigorating fight that was. And what a killing blow you delivered. You had better save your petty compliments and learn from my example that would serve us both. That's rude. Cheers. Yes, I handle myself like the best of the best, even if I do say, my, say, say so myself. Oh, there. I wouldn't go that far. Man, such a Especially douche. Especially not standing in the blast radius of your soon-to-burst vanity bubble. Haha, <laughs> I like Scarlet. Roderick's kind of a douche. Oh, Trudene. Avatar of Frost. Blackjack. Each cloth's crap. <laughs> Scrap, cap, crap. Same thing. Okay. Is there a graveyard somewhere? They did say it was to the north. What's this? A barrel. Oh, there's birds over there. Hmm. Oh, there's a hut. What is this hut? Hopefully I don't run across any bad guys. Bale of hay. Must keep still. Who's talking? Is it you? Wolfram. Hey, what's up? Mercy me. It walks, but it's not dead. I wasn't entirely certain I'd ever meet anyone any more fitting that description. Why are you out here all alone with the all the dead people Wolfram, around? And it's a delight to make your acquaintance. Good to see, by the by, you don't belong to the Legion. Ten of their number accompanied me on a fact-finding mission to an ancient burial mound. But, as it turns out, they stood a snowflake's chance in hell against the undead. Uh. Not that I reckon my chance is any higher, though, especially with that vicious undead mutt prowling the grounds around this here ruin. I'd go so far as to say I'm in dire need of an armed escort back to the city, as a matter of fact. Tell me about I'm yourself. I'm an archaeologist and connoisseur of the undead. Because of my expertise, 
Lieutenant Selenia, a commander of the Legion in Sicil, wanted me to investigate the ancient burial mound just outside of town, hoping to uncover the source of the zombie plague. No such luck, though. You know a lot about the undead. Quite so. I live for the dead, so to speak. The combination of archaeology and a case of incidental necromantic magic is what sparked my interest in the field. Of course, I'll be glad to share what knowledge I have obtained over the years. Tell them about zombos. Zombies are the results of vile necromancy in action. Among the resurrected dead, there are those who used to be wizards, and they can cast spells still. They slay their prey and bring them back as deathless thralls that fester with the diseases of decay. Should you encounter these menaces, always try to pick them off from afar. Don't let them get close, or they'll riddle you with the poisons and the blight that afflict them. What about Skelemen? These ones in particular, the ones around Sicil, are the resurrected soldiers of Bracchus, the last and most infamous in the line of Sorcerer Kings. He himself is supposed to be buried somewhere around here, but no one knows where the actual grave is. Long have I searched and deep have I dug, but so far I haven't found anything more spectacular than rusted weaponry and shards of pottery. Be that as it may, Bracchus' soldiers stalk these lands anew and they still fight like veterans. I told those fools of legionnaires to bring maces instead of swords. You know, weapons that crush these skeleton bones, not blades that may ricochet right off. Hell, even a sturdy branch would do the job better. But they didn't listen, and now they're dead. Oh, and don't be surprised if the dead use an unusual amount of magic against you. These soldiers were loyal to a sorcerer king after all. Dark magic all around. What about that armed escort? I'll never make it alone. But you've gotten this far. You can bring me back, can't you? Uh, certainly can. Indeed. Don't you worry. We'll keep Hopefully you safe. Hopefully he's not a betrayer. Marvelous. Mighty fine of you. Lead the way, I say. Hold on a minute. <gasps> Mouse. Mouse. Let me click on you. Not the bone pile. The mouse. The undead love poison. They soak it up like sponges. Rotten, moldy sponges. Like that one in the corner beneath your sink. <laughs> Pick up all these mushrooms. Not that poison cheese, but I will take the bread. What are little fireflies doing underground? Ooh, a chest. Boots. Okay, I guess that was it. I prefer to drown my sorrows with ale. All right, so we'll just go back to town, I guess. Is he following us or is he? What the fuck? Oh, getting ambushed. Okay. Um. Well, ring a zing zing. So close. Probably shouldn't have done that. Just because if I miss, this is going to suck. It's blocked. Oh, by uh, Scarlet. Bam! Leg to stand on. I was gonna say we should be done. Here you go. 
Everyone follow. He knew. He knew. Zombos. Zombos and skeleton. I stunned them both. That's dope. I like how they flip around those. Oh, shit. I didn't know it was going to be on cooldown. Die, vermin! I'm drenched. Uh-huh. You oh, no. Please crush these beans before they crush me. Ba bam, ba bam. Uh -huh. Yo. Take that, you undead vermin. Wait, did I not? I don't think I looted the, the stinking guys. Well. You did it. I did. We made it. Oh, cheers for escorting me to safety. You're a godsend, you are. I'll be in the King Crab, clearing the dust from my throat. The drinks are on me if you'd like to partake. Bye. All right. I picked up. Armor rating. Send this to... Better daughter. All right, you get some boots or bracers, and those boots are better. So enjoy. All right, continue. Those are wasps. Also, he said there was like a dog around here. I don't want to go check that out. Oh, wait, is that the dog? That looks like a dog. Yeah, a bunch of dead dudes over there. Okay, let's... Prance around this little area. See if anything worthwhile shows up. bunch of fire over there. How? There's rain. That creature there looks like it'd like to play fetch with our femurs. Sick looking dog. A zombie dog. Man's best friend, my Heine. He's porking at me. I must go say hi. No, I don't want to fight the Bow Wow. No, I don't want to fight the Bow Wow. He looks like he's against them though. Look it. Let's not fight the Bow Wow. We're gonna zapperize these boys. Zing! I don't want to shoot the doggy, so. Boom. Let's do this. this and uh run up forward no the doggy is a bite in me he was facing the wrong way i thought he was gonna be a friend that's unfortunate that really bums me out ha huh, he missed what are you doing oh a zombo pig yo ouch ouch that actually hurt a zombo pig and a zombo dog. And the pig gets to go? Bullshit. Uh. Why? I'm into attack. Dog, I was gonna leave you because I thought you were a friend, so blam! 
Oh, it didn't ricochet. Fuck. That's unfortunate. A stitch in time, eh, friend? The heck? Why does it keep doing that? Uh! Get out of my way. That's right. Now he's poisoned. That sucks. No, stop healing your friends. You're not supposed to be able to do that. Fuck. Ouch. Ouch. You stay over there, stupid. Oh, boy. Bad doggy. Did I kill it? I think I killed it. Boom! Unpoison him. I thought I turned this on. Can't shoot the dog. This sucks. I don't have enough AP to do anything. Yes! At least he can hit a couple times. I thought I healed him from poison. Didn't work. Or something. Got him. Bad doggy. Oh, you can hit him? Heck yeah. Just need one more AP, man. Nice crit, bruh. He started it. Voice in my head. That's right, get dead. Bam. Can I do it again? Ba bam. Sweet relief. Bless the seven, I am restored. Where are you going? Oh, I thought he was teleporting. Ouch! Poked me in the butt. Ouch! He got to go three times! Okay, so this takes five. I can move one space. And hopefully be able to get this off. Aha! Nailed it. Bless the seven, I am restored. Freezing arrow. As good as a new penny. New penny? That sounds awful. <gasps> a chest. Empty for armor. Hmm. Alright, let's um We're gonna heal ourselves up real quick. That should be good enough. What's in here? Oh, this doesn't look good. No. The folks that make it down here are awfully strange. Some of them stare at that tombstone for hours. Tombstone. Hey, there's a dungeon just like this nearby. I'm sure of it. Do you think what we do here affects that place? Water, earth, air, fire. In this cell's double, your double will face your ally. Hmm, I don't want to play with that. That sounds bad. What a deluge. Okay, let's go. 
check out what's over here. There's like a bunch of wasps and there was a dog over here. See? Oh. Sheba and Toxa. Oh, I can talk to you. Dog drools and shambles closer, but speaks no words. A low moaning growl rumbles from its throat. The dog drools and... Huh? Wooden fire staff. A diary. What's the diary? Read. My dogs tried to warn me of the horrors that surrounded. I heard their savage snarling, their, their fearsome growls, my toxin, Sheba, the banes of would-be burglars scared. The series of small stomach churning yelps ended everything. As the night falls, I am alone and I dare not leave. Peering from the chink in the curtain, I saw Toxa and Sheba's silhouettes prowling the yard. My pups, my friends, they live, but I cannot open the door. Not yet. I shall wait for the light of the sun to return before I brave the waking nightmare. Day has come, and I dared to venture outside. The zombies appear to be gone for the present. Toxa and Sheba greeting me with their tails wagging and ears lowered. My old friends as yet, but they, as they approached... The green sickening light in their eyes told me they were changed. Something is growing inside them. The wretched zombies have taken their true souls, infecting them with whatever unnatural otherworldly power governs the undead. I fear what they will become, but I cannot aim a spear at my own friends. At least the zombies will leave them alone. Oh! According to his diary, this bloke couldn't put down his dogs even after he knew them to be infected. Who could bear to harm his friends? Yeah! When there especially no signs of no symptoms of turning. Fuck they're you. only innocent beasts after all and appear to pose no threat of harm. Oh, you better agree with me. Oh, there's a skeleton. Sorry, friends. Your friend died. Or your master dead. Beehive. Don't sting me, beast. Ooh, money. Aw, poor doggies. Oh, there's some skeleton. Is this where do I need to be going? What is that? Something's glowing over there. Hmm. There's a lot of bad boys over here. I suppose we can come fight them. I can't. Oh, my skill bar changed. Zing! I strike from the soul of air. That sucks. All right, everyone, come out here. Blam! Let's hit and hit and hit. Hello. Oh god, there's- oh shit, there's so many of them. Oh, this was a bad idea. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy, we might have to kite them. Stop healing! Fuck. Oh, look at this guy. I might have to throw fireball right there, that'd be kind of cool. Do I have some sort of an AOE, a grenade? Firestorm grenade, that could be great. Actually, you know what? How much costs three? I'm gonna do this. Can't see. Land here. No, I wanted to cast this fucking oil flask. What the fuck was that? It didn't do anything I wanted it to. God damn it. Fire arrow, stunning arrow. Shoot arrow. At you. Fuck. I just want to watch the world burn. Alright, he might die.
All right, this might get two of them. Got him. All right, back up. Was that oil? That's water. Here, <laughs> looking waddling around. Okay, let's, uh, let's, uh, perfect. Boom. Or this guy is obnoxious. My kingdom for a dry shirt. <laughs> All right, stupid. Don't slip. What did I just say? Ah, you fell too. I'm okay. No, he's changing his mind. That zombie's smarter than the skeleton. Yes, the stuns. The stuns, matey. He's stunned and knocked down, so blam! That's what my feet again. Death is its own deliverance. Ouch. Ouch. Aha, you missed. Oh, change your mind again, zombie man. Habat. Oh, he's still alive. Fuck. Not for long. But this is the end for d you. D d d double kick a kill. Come on, zombie boy. You're gonna slip on the ice. You're gonna slip. Nope. So close. Shoot him. Got him. <laughs> I just dropped it over there. Nice. Fine leather armor. What's over here? Don't step in the poison, please. Dead people. Where did I pick up orders? Ooh. Please and thanks. Ooh, Earth Wand. Yes. Nothing hidden here, huh? All right. Scarlet. Sort by type. Where was that? Eat that potato. On the men. Person's gonna get drunk as hell. Okay. Uh, let's see. Plus two. It hurts, man. You can deal with the plus one, but the plus two is a little rough. Twin oh, she's not even wearing a chest piece. Fuck. I like the initiative. Lucky charm. Okay. How about you two? Oh, damn it. 
13 armor, 9 armor. Okay. So we will do... Send this to Roderick. Sorry, dude. You've been wearing crappy boots. That is so much damage. Oh, that it's so much damage, but I can't even do it. Just because it'll just fuck me over. All right, I have a lot of crap I need to sell. Um, oh, the poison's gone. Nice. Oh, she changed. Cool. Well, um, didn't find a zombie grave or anything. Did find a bone pile over here. Oh. oh I got a bunch of skeleton over there. There was a bow. Probably not as good as what Bear Daughter is wearing, considering hers is a green. That guy looks like an explodey boy. Definitely looks explode skeleton. Yup. That's going to end well. Um, it costs six AP, huh? So I can move that far and still hope to get a zap. The time of your death is Sweet. Hand. I don't know if I can reach that. I don't think I can. I can. Bye. Oh, shit. Hello. Spawn right behind me. What's up, guys? Power Welcome stars. to the party. All right. My attack is 4 AP. I can get this off. Fucking spawn right next to me, bro. That ain't fair. Bah! Well, he's stunned. No, healing, you suck. <laughs> Who did you heal? Miss. Ouch. Miss. Miss. Ouch. 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 Bop, bop. Yeah, you're both stunned now. What are you about to say about them apples, huh? But One's down. Probably just could have got Into two shots off. Oh, yeah! Yes! Nice dodge. That sucks. That sucks a lot. Fuck. Oh, I don't like it. Fuck. Um. And of course, I use my my jump move. It's the range on that. can run that far. Fuck. I'm gonna die. Still poison, though. That fucking sucks. I don't think that's gonna do anything. Fuck. Yeah. Totally didn't. 
Oh, hell yeah, this work. Target is blocked by what? No, it's not. What is it blocked by? I don't know what I'm blocked by, but it's annoying. The water? Is the water blocking me? That's stupid. Yeah! Attack of opportunity, stupid. Face the unending darkness. Where are you going, dummy? Get over here. Okay, I need you. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a shot off. Oh, barely. A stitch in time, eh, friends? Nope. Boom. Flames fight deep. Yeah, I poisoned my friends, but you know what? Okay, everyone come to safety. Don't find more enemies, please. <laughs> Fucking heal. I'm clicking the thing. Well, it doesn't matter now. One percent poison. Yeah, that doesn't really seem to have happened. Gold. On the mend. There's lots of gold. This might sting a little. Nope. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Bug. <laughs> My face. I'm trying to loot things before I die. Fuck. Get out of there. Get out of there. Get out of there. A stitch in time, eh, friends? Bless the seven. I am restored. Phew, one of the dogs farted and it's stinky. Ooh, start it, sir. I'll take that. Don't know what it does, but I'll take it. Same with these weird mushrooms. Anything hidden? Nope. Hmm. Bummer. Only found nothing. Fear not, so for some of the scourge have been slain. Your return marks a victory, Hunter. It's heating we'll up. Our foes yet. See, that looks like a bad thing. You guys were outside in the rain all that time. Hmm. Okay. What did I need to do? Oh, well, oh yeah, the sheep. No idea where some of that is. Esmeralda's shop. Strange cave. I don't know. I don't know, my friends. I guess we'll have to figure out... Today's Thursday, so maybe Monday we'll be figuring out what the heck we need to be doing here. Um, and figure out who is the culprit for the... The murder of Jake. And, uh, because honestly, I don't remember. Um, but we're going to move for... When did I get Summon Wolf? Oh! That's from my new, um... Uh, 
excuse me, wand. Heck yeah. And this thing keeps moving somehow. Um, I forgot what I was saying because I got distracted by the summon wolf. Um, but tomorrow, or I'm looking forward to some D and D uh, this weekend. I hope you guys are as well. Um, let's see. I really should spend some time on uh, doing some stuff that I was planning on doing for Saturday, but I'm looking forward to it. I uh, hope you guys are too. Uh, if you liked this episode, uh, remember to like, subscribe, comment. It helps me out a lot. Let me know what you're liking and what you're not liking. But more, more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt, don't shop, donate to a rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Invasive. Jada knows the end of my outro. And she's like, yes, it's dinner time every time. But uh, thank you guys so much for tuning with me. And I'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Let's go party and get some foodies. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on.